Initiating system one.
System one loaded. The Gorecast is brought to you by American Horrors, the greatest uncut horror channel in the world. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, all horror. As well as the station of decapitation without your head. America's longest running horror channel, www.withoutyourhead.com The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's up, Gorecasters, and welcome back here to the Gorecast with me, Jay. What's up, Gorecasters? Welcome back here to the Gorecast with me, Johnny Deadly, and all the rest of the media monsters to the right of me. Uh, hi. Hey guys. Hello. And the, the buzz in the corridor. Yeah, that's us. Hi, Rochi. Hi, Hater. Definitely them. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what. We don't need you as bright. There has been an onslaught on the fortress that is the body of Johnny Deadly. Germans are storming the castle. Oh. Ninjas are swinging from the trees. Something big, big one, eh? And a lonely white blood cell named Jenny is trying to stop it all happening. Ooh. I'm saying one. basically is what I'm trying to say. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> so if I fall asleep or forget what I'm doing or just make a loud noise when I stand up. Those yeah, I normally is... don't get sick. This is unprecedented. <laughs> Which is why yeah, I'm yeah. looking like I really am not enjoying myself right now. Archival, Archival footage, footage of when it happened. happened. The parents got the vid, I thought it was the vid, but I'm able to taste things, and I don't have a cough, I just ache from top to bottom, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I got punt kicked by Optimus Prime, that's probably the best way to describe it. Wow. And you're, and you're still in one, one piece, piece, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm resilient. I'm sure 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 made of rich mahog mahogany in my skin. Resilient. <laughs> mahogany. Re resiliently bound in leather. <laughs> Sick for your shit. No, no, no. That's no. That's not the. That's not the case. Anyway, for anybody who wasn't around, who's here? Hello, Jane. How are you? Actually, also Rochi. Hello, uh, Hater. Hello. Hi, Jay. Is there somebody else? Give me names. Uh, we got Hater, we got Rochi, we got Jane. Perfect. Hello. Hello, everybody. Um, yeah, so today we are taking a look at the Terrifier series because the new movie came out and reportedly was making people vomit. Um, it was reportedly gorier than you've ever seen before, which I didn't, even in my ill state, vomit during the movie, but I can report 100% that it is most certainly much gorier than anything you've seen before. Unless oh, yeah. you get into, like... Load on the razor wire and mm. fucking Tokyo know. or police type stuff. No, I've no blood on the razor wires where it's essentially just a fucking legal snuff movie. Ah, mm. as in nobody actually dies in the making of the thing, but it sure looks like they do. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but we said we'd take a look at the whole series because this gentleman, even though lots of people only kind of got to grips with him in 2013. Or 2016, should I say? He's been around since 2013 in a little anthology movie known as All Hallows Eve. For the love yes, of God, yes. somebody else start talking so I can. Well, well, I'm looking, looking at the chat, chat and someone, someone said, said there's, there's no, no video, video feed. feed but I'm staring oh, I can see it when I see us. No video feed. It must, it must be just on their, their end because I can. Yeah, watch maybe give her right give her an old refresh there, Jane. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ro 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 Ro
I'm trying to think, did I say Leone in my head, or have I heard someone say Leone? Or Leone? Let's say Damien L. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Big, Big old Damien. Yeah, up in the Tony Peary, Joker Tater, that's probably what's going on. Uh, <laughs> I'm having a yeasty build-up. And it's affecting my body. Supposedly, Supposedly I, I have a case, case of the echoes. I don't know what's, what's going, going on there. there. Oh, yeah. No, that that is a genuine thing. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Charlie. Echo, Welcome to the chats. Echo, 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 Just in time. Echo. Hello, Charlie. We were talking about periods. No, we, we were talking about all I have to resist going, Charlie bit my finger. Because I'm that old. Guys, Michael, Michael Jackson wants to chat with me. That's kind of weird. Sick job. <laughs> Sick Johnny is funny as hell. <laughs> That's because Sick Johnny's verbal barrier that he puts up to be like, mm, maybe we shouldn't say that on here. <laughs> Hello, Tristan. Yes, That's we gone. are. We, we, you did turn up early. Yes. And we, we are here early. Yes. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. we are here on time. You oh. showed up late, but also early because normally we don't start for like 20 minutes, even though we're advertised as 12. I don't know. I just I just got a message popped up on my phone that says Michael Jackson wants to chat with you, and I was like, oh, "That's kind of weird." Last time I checked, he was dead. I'm and sure there's more come back from the dead. Why you? I, you know, right. why of all people dead, you? But... No offense That's intended. Up. Right. I, like honestly, if he came ringing me from you. beyond the grave, I would also be like, "Nice to hear from you, Mike." No <laughs> idea why you're calling me. Yours sincerely, well, Johnny Deadly. Please leave a message after the beep because I wouldn't even pick up. Oh, well, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm not picking up. Yeah, I'm not, picking, I'm not picking, picking up Jackson. the phone to no goddamn Pop King ghosts. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to hear me talk, uh, join the chat. Every time I chat. go to take a piss, all you have is behind you. Dun, 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 I just want to piss dun. for one minute on my own, Michael Jackson. <laughs> Well, at least he uh, won't tell you to beat it. He's got that beat it. Not until later in the day, anyway. Yeah. Anywho. Nope. Nope. Interesting. Apparently, I've been I've been renamed Guz. That's fine. That's what I normally call you. Um. There's no one else. You can rename this. I thought he called him everyone Guz. Yeah. Hey Guz. Hey guys. Guz. It's going goes. Um, yeah, 2013, the big D-man came out with a movie called All Hallows' Eve. Uh, anthology film about uh, Zara the Clown and some other madness that happened. Aliens. Aliens happened, and then uh, more Art the Clown. Yeah. It's mostly Art the Clown. Yeah. Because it, it is. Aliens. Well, there's a couple of stories in there, but they all kind of revolve around... He's the, yeah, he's the running thread that keeps oh, yeah. the narrative going. Because you have the main then, story of the lady who finds the VHS tape. Well, the, the kid who, for some reason, has a VHS tape dumped into his trick or treat bag. He's like, "Look at this! I got sweets and I got a tape. Can we watch it? Can we watch it?" No. It's probably homemade porn. We're going to put that away right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, that babysitter did not have that in thought in mind, though, and she was like. Well, at first she was, no, you can't watch it. And then she was like, okay, it's just a really scary movie. Yes, you can watch it. Well, no, she didn't really say, yes, you can watch it. They just decided to sit down and watch it. And she didn't say. Right. Yeah, yeah, they kind of just took the tape over. out of the bag, went, oh, look what we got. I'm putting it on. And then she was like, maybe you shouldn't watch this. And then the clown showed up and she was like, maybe you definitely shouldn't watch this. And then the creepy shit happened. And she's like, I'm turning this off. And then the young lady, a couple of fucking wine spritzers later, she's like, you know what, maybe I'll give this fucking, <laughs> you know, clown's hand nearly reached out of the fucking television while I was sober. I can't see how it would go bad after a couple of white wine spritzers. <laughs> right. She was nursing a glass of wine the whole movie. She was refilling it. She, yeah, That's called... me and Giz thinks that she was refilling it. Just in keeping between, it like in between that scenes? Steady. That's what I'd like to think. Yeah. 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 Just keeping it at that steady level. It's not that she wasn't drinking any wine, it's that she was drinking a lot of wine. Not trying to date my age or anything, but those kids seemed like little bastards, so I wouldn't blame them. Oh, they did. To be honest. And they got their comeuppance at the end. You got Saturday <laughs> off work? Woo! Let's kill zombies! Uh-oh. <laughs> There's a Halloween <laughs> event on. I will advertise at the end, but it's very cool. But yeah, so that was in 2013, and then 2016, I believe, was the first Terrifier film. Because yeah. everyone was like, hey, the Sark the Clown guys. 
pretty cool. We should make his own movie. Pretty, they did. Yeah, they were like, hey, you kind of made his own movie anyway. You know, aliens aside. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else was in there? I won't lie to you. I nodded uh, off. Aliens, demons, and then it and was just art. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there was the demon, yeah, was the alien, then everything else was art the clown. Yeah, there was two or three art. Yeah. yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, because uh, yeah, the first one had the... Uh, the underground the, tunnel the thing. devil the devil sex right. thing going on which art helped with he's the one who everybody deeply deeply deep down wants a bahama mama roshi the question is can you handle her I don't even know what that is so i'm assuming it's a type of lady yeah like a hurricane oh rock me yeah rock me like a hurricane here i am burn out burn out burn out yeah. I was just clarifying the shorts because, as I said, I may have, not due to the movie, due to the illness, um, had, had taken a little power nap and I Ooh. came out and was like, oh. I'm definitely mixing some of VHS, it's shorts into this yeah, movie. That was head. it. Like, it yeah. like, we got the underground demon, then we got the alien, and then we got the long run of art. That alien that short is in another end. movie. Is it? Mm hmm I mean, like, we've seen first time I saw alien... It. Chasing people through houses. Dude, Bahama Mama sound disgusting. I'd say she'd rub you out, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> it's okay, I'm having a, a, a grapefruit for vodka soda, because I'm a man. Well, according to Hater, it's a drink, and I misbranded that name. Incredibly oh, yeah. wrong. You know, it's got like orange juice, pineapple juice. I pictured like Bro. a Tammy kind of character, you know, with the fucking "Hey kids, get off <laughs> oh. the dang roof!" <laughs> yeah, but no, no. More, more of a Don't Jamaican. you be fucking playing hey. in the back garden. Mama's trying to watch your stories. More, more of a Jamaican accent, I feel. I'm not. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Regular rum, Remember? coconut flavored rum, and grenadine. Ew, that's Drink your white tie and be quiet. Yes, mom. <laughs> <sighs> it's fifty percent soda. It's practically a kid's drink. It's fine. <laughs> as long as it's not that just settled down. Yeah. Okay, sick Johnny's going to shut up because the show is going to take a long time if I keep talking. <laughs> well, we got so then after that it's what twenty twenty two. Yeah, that was the release of the yeah. Or, People uh, liked. <laughs> okay. I thought we were already reviewing all Hallows Eve. <laughs> I wasn't sure. We were, and then we were, feel, and then I feel enough of all Hallows Eve came up in conversations. I was like, I, maybe we should just. I thought we were, uh, and then I started talking about the evolution of art. I was going to go, oh, okay. Oh, history of um, art. That'd actually be really intelligent to put in at the start of the podcast. Do that. Do that instead. Yeah, you did. Okay, so, <laughs> finish it. Okay, so yeah, so 2013 uh, Hallows Eve, 2016 Terrifier One, awesome. And then uh, saw in vaginas, and then uh, twenty twenty two. We're here. People are vomiting right. in the movie theaters. Supposedly. Supposedly, yes. Yeah. Until uh, someone I sends was, me I... a video of, you know, right. Sad vomiting. Yeah. Or poor uh, bastards but, having you know, to clean that up, you know. Or you know, Absolutely. one person standing in front of like fourteen puddles of puke, just been like, I really hope the night shift guys are getting paid extra money. <laughs> hey, it's kind of like in uh, Ohio C, where that guy's like, I'm not cleaning this shit up. I'm leaving in two hours. Right. That was in Terrifier. No, it was in Terrifier. That was in both. Oh yeah. Uh, the, ga the gas station attendant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was in a house. Yeah, because our I guess has Terrifier. in Terrifier was yeah. the clean the maintenance yeah. guy. Art like art, art has his uh, his kinks. He does them in multiple movies. He likes to smear shit or on just, the wall. He likes he likes the old a, like, he likes the old scat stuff. Yeah. Yep. Or just has some likes, bowel issues that he's trying to get under control. I don't know. It could it could be. He likes to carry that garbage bag around with the right. fun toys. Like a sadistic Santa Claus. You know. Uh, we don't Art's, know. That Art's might be got, all of his stomach. Art's meds. got a lot of toys. It's one of the reasons I think art is really good and possibly moving towards being a really big prolific slasher movie killer is you have Chucky yep. very innovative you know it, it, super innovative actually like Chucky whatever room he's in he'll find something to fucking murder you with there's no questions asked you know not a problem. greatest killer you know um, you got Michael Myers more than ha customarily will stick to a knife but he's more than happy to you know work 
although he's got his own kinks as well, as was proven in the new movie. He loves nailing people to a wall. Big thing. Loves that. Yeah. But, you know, uh, he'll he'll work with what he's got. Um, Jason Voorhees, fucking... James, whatever the fuck anything yeah Straw, anything machete. he used a boat he in one movie that'll give you an indication of the fucking level of right he used liquid nitrogen he used liquid if nitrogen in reach yeah. you're yeah. getting fucked up art the it. clown has a bit of a different mo art the clown likes to show up with a big black santa sack that has all of his toys in it like a okay, good kid way. that you invite like, over to a play date very rude of you to assume that you're going to play with all of my power rangers gary <laughs> nice right. of you to show He's up with also... toys yourself He's also good at arts and crafts because he likes to make his own homemade I'm, weapons. I'll be honest. I thought that perhaps, you see, I kind of, I didn't watch Al Hadas even until after seeing Terrifier and Terrifier 2. So I actually figured that because his name is Art the Clown, it actually was in reference to the fact that from his point of view, everything he does is a work of art. And that that's why he, he wasn't I, like... I would have agreed he, with that in Terrifier. Terrifier 2, I think there's a bit of a different MO very much. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just... I, I watched them in the Terrifier 1 and then Terrifier 2, so when he was writing Me too. art, when he was writing art, I was actually thinking in my head, what if he's just proclaiming his works and people have decided that's his name instead? Uh, Hater, Gary's just the random name that I've associated with. He's the red shirt. He's but my I red shirt, yeah. Gary, anytime, I've got, I've, anytime I've got I've an got, issue you know, that I'm going to drop a vocal issue with, Gary is the guy that's going to get it. Or Janine, if it's a lady. Janine Melnitz? Or Janice. No, I, I, there's no association to anybody. I just picked a name that sounds good and went with it. Fuck. See? Why do you My have to complicate things? Gonna be Bob. Yeah, fucking damn right. Fuck Gary. <laughs> <laughs> right up a stupid ass. Yeah, right. Anywho. Stupid ass. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, I'll how is he? I'll start there. Since I <laughs> steamrolled up when we were trying to go there. Kind of make the most sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. Uh, so All House Eve came out in 2013, little film by the big the big D man. I should stop calling him that. Because that's I don't know, 100 percent you need to stop calling him that. <laughs> we'll just say Damien Leone, and then if it's the only I apologize. I don't know what Buzz thinks of uh, your movie, Damien, but from what I understand he thinks you're hung like a fucking dragon. <laughs> uh, hey. <laughs> he's being your wingman. You're good. Wait, Bill, welcome to the chats. Hello, Bill. Hello. So yeah, so uh, All Hallows Eve is a anthology film from 2013 where a babysitter is babysitting a couple of childrens on Halloween night. They get back from their tricks or treats and going through the delicious Christmas candy because it looks like you got a bunch of like <laughs> mints in his bag from what I noticed. Um, should probably, one, a should take, probably one. take a look a little bit closer at the sell by date in those guys. Yeah, um, right. it looked like uh, it looked like uh, Grandma Purse candies. Although, in fairness, the way fucking Halloween, oh, yes. the way Halloween in shops is going currently in the current climate, it would make sense that it's only Christmas sweets in his fucking Halloween bag. Because <laughs> it was the only stuff that they could find in the shop. Yeah, if you don't go like a month before actual Halloween, yeah, you're definitely getting. I'm candy sorry, candies. Gary. I went to buy some fucking Halloween sweets, but it was the fourth of October. It was all the Christmas stuff was there. <laughs> Instead, you got a gingerbread man and a uh, candy cane and. And uh, uh, the chestnuts and the pear tree. I don't know what color was the candy cane. Chocolate bat and a chocolate Christmas tree. Uh, I don't know. I was this was a make believe scenario. I, I don't know. Oh, right. I thought I was like, if it's an orange black candy cane, I suppose you could do Halloween. Uh, yeah, candy. you could. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. But uh, but yeah, but no, no candy canes in this ch ah. child's bags. But there is a video tape from um, we don't know where. Just a blank oh, video tape. Safe to assume. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Call me and crazy. Like, hmm. It's safe to assume. We're Somebody's there. being what? an asshole. Yeah. They're like, uh, hey, this is a cool videotape. And I'm surprised in 2013, the kids were like, and you knew what it was, because I'm surprised mm. it was just like, because it's 2013. It's kind of far Someone from Someone put the, a really know, elaborate statistics. book weight on my fucking Halloween bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so they find this tape, and the kids are like, put it on, put it on. The babysitter's like, no. There's probably penises on here. She didn't say that, but I'm assuming I, she would have it's said. It's safe it. to assume. Yeah, it's um, safe to assume. If it was any other tape, it probably would have been penises. Yeah. So they're like, "Well, let's see what's on it." And she's like, "All right, I will put it in. We'll. I'll see if it's bad. If it's bad, you guys don't watch. If it's fine, then you guys come in." I'm gonna have to interrupt for it's one second. For Triple H, <laughs> I can guarantee you, is only maybe open to see him coming back to WWE so he can fire him himself. 
Okay, see, I was getting ready to answer that too. I'm like, why, man? Yeah. Punk is Triple H will hire him so he can be. fire him and fucking be like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, Vince, do you know what you didn't manage to do? Fire CM Punk. He literally walked out of the company. I fired his fucking ass twice. <laughs> and then he kicks uh, his desk over and it's like, all about the game. That's it. <laughs> Spits water Stephanie's in He's like, you're in the office now, Trips. You yeah. just <laughs> go, to, go to your wardrobe, your put on a new shirt. Put on a new shirt. Presumably, he tore the shirt off. Is what I'm getting at. Put on a new oh, shirt. Oh, yeah, just right. had a shirt on. Period. Put on just imagine some of fire CM I, through the legal means that we're supposed to do. I just imagine someone oh, running God. in with a towel and just wiping off the desk. <laughs> yeah. So much oil. So much baby oil. Who would have thought that one shirt getting ripped off could <laughs> distribute so much oil around one room? It's like a slip and slide. I was thinking about spitting out the water. Okay. Yet again, well, some poor bastard is going to clean all this. I up. think you'll find if you look at a Triple H intro. Both were applicable. Yeah. He's an oily man. Oh, God. I said vodka soda got my nose. That's not good. Ugh. Ooh. Uh, anywho. Start in flaming or... Sambuca. He's going to be yeah. langer yeah. in about 15 minutes. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, lady puts tape on and she's like, oh, there's nothing there. And then just video starts. Just random things start appearing. Art the Clown appears in this weird room. Other demons appear in this room. And the kids are like, well, she didn't say we can come in, but I guess we're going to come. Well, she's been coming anyway. Face I, was trying to oh, I got the hiccups at the worst time when I'm trying to talk. What happens when um, you shove carbonated alcoholic beverages yeah, up your nose hole? Up your nose. <laughs> oh, <ooh. laughs> so, yeah. So, they're like, oh, let's see what this tape's all about. And she's like, no. No. Go away into the other room. Okay, well, I guess we're watching the tapes. And uh, we watch the first tape. And it starts off. This lady's in a, a bus thing. Or train station, train station. Train there station. we go. Train. Uh, I'm waiting for a train, and uh, she comes out of the bathroom, and there's a clown sitting there. Guess who it is? It's Art the Clown. Uh, it would have been very confusing if another clown came into the picture this early, to be honest. I bozo, the clown just shows up. Charlie, remind um, me of a garlic bread beef comment earlier because I have knowledge for you. I swear to Triscuit's God, good. sound good, though, too. Uh, Tris but yeah, Triscuit so, is Tristan, uh, just to let you know. Oh, well, that's a here it's a. A snack cracker. Uh, I, I think cracker. it's. Uh, I think it's both. Oh, well, I mean, and you. Yeah. Um, I like both. Yeah, so, so cool. I like calling her Art the Clown. Nice. Art the Clown's kind of being all creepy to the girl, you know. Gives her a flower that contains bugs, like you normally do, and then she's just like, "Hey, uh, let me put this needle in your arm. Come on, come on." One time it's I normal. had flowers covered in bugs, I had to talk to a counselor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Art the Clown, he, he could have been saved. No one tried to help him. You know, if That's was, true. Unfortunately, no counselor. This is society. There was an open conversational network for him to work his issues out verbally, I think. He would have murdered that guy yeah. and then moved on with his thing. So, day. yeah. Well, uh, our, our, uh, the, our young lady wakes up and she's chained in this weird uh, hallway or thing. Just in this train tunnel. station tunnel. Wow! Tunnel I literally just watched the movie and I just can't figure <laughs> things out. Um, I'm there's a couple other the tunnel. Thank you. Do you think it could be yeah. because your review consists of so many words revolving around the English language that it might be throwing you off? It's probably. I'll do okay. I'll, I'll do better, guys. I'll do better. You're doing great. <laughs> uh, Ignore me. I'm anyhow. cranky and ill. You're doing great. <laughs> That's okay. Anyhow, they're in this tunnel. There's Word three God, girls, stop. two girls that are already there, and she's like, "Well." Why are we here? And they're like, we don't know. We've been here for a while. This guy put us in here. And eventually, uh, one of the girls gets dragged away by the, by the chains into the darkness. By, we don't really see. By an unknown by evil. By a mysterious man. Um, and the other two girls are like, hey, yeah, fuck that. We need to get out of here. So they go <laughs> the other way. Um, and they find where they're kind of tied to. They're like, oh, we need to break this chain so we can get out. And then that doesn't go very well because some reject from uh, The Hills Have Eyes pops out. And uh, he attacks her. And he chops off the one girl's arm and then chops off her other arm. And she doesn't make it, guys. She doesn't make it. And then he goes to attack the other girl, the third girl. And he she, she ducks out of the way and he's chops her chains and she's free she runs away and then she stops because there's this weird man pushing a shopping cart and a 
dark room and like this. Let's stop and talk to him. Um, and there was just a hand in his cart and just moving around. And she's like, oh, whoa, nay. And then she turned in the guy that was there who had a face before. Didn't have a face. He was a demon. And then she wakes up tied up to a bed. And then a, there's a lady pregnant who uh, does not have the baby do. anymore. Uh, and then the guy from, uh, what was that thing that you said the guy was from, Carter? The devil-looking guy? Oh, legend? Yeah. That guy showed up. Cause looked like Tim right, Curry was in All like, Hallows' Eve? Yeah. Like his, I don't like know his unknown he... younger brother. Like, the makeup just kind of reminded gotcha. me of legend. Yeah. Um, I said the elephant man, but you you were definitely more correct. We're talking about Greg, the lower level. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Uh, and then that, that's the end of that scene. It's bad things happens to everybody in the, in the episode. Uh, and, the and then the lady keeps a watching. Yeah, yeah baby says like, "Fuck this!" She takes the tape out. And she's like, "No, you guys go to bed. Take off your makeup. Go to bed." And then they go to bed. The kids, the two children, uh, they go to bed. And then she gets this phone call from her friend. They make pointless uh, plans because that's not going to go over uh, okay. Those plans are probably safe to say. Not what happens happen. when you make plans? Yeah, don't make plans, people. And then she <laughs> drinks some wine. She drinks wine the whole movie. I'm gonna let you guys know. She's just she's a lush on the wine. Yeah, she's either lush. drinking it really slow or refilling it a lot. We we're kind of divided on this argument. So she, in a drunken stupor, decides to put the tape back on. Yeah, maybe not really a stupor. She was just like, I'm bored. I know I'm just children are in bed, so what else do I do? Put the tape back on. And we're introduced to the, the second video, which is a spooky alien thing. A lady in a house that they just moved into, big house. Nobody's there, it was just her. In case you're unaware, the truth is uh, out there, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Just right behind me. No, I mean, like. Down. Uh, Down. Okay. Good. High level. High level. I, I keep forgetting. Guys, I'm not professional. Um, we probably yeah, keep so, not moving it on you. Yeah. Um, yeah, her and her husband, I'm assuming, just moved into this big house. She's unpacking. She's talking to her friend. She's like, oh, I love it. It's so quiet outside. And that doesn't work out for her because <laughs> something crashes in her in the backyard. And she sees some lights and all the lights go out in the house. And she tries to turn the lights back on the breaker. Lights aren't coming on, so she fucked. She does find a flashlight because that was so easily, nicely um, packed right where she needed it for the story. Be prepared. Um, yeah. yeah. So she finds a flashlight, just kind of going around, and there's an alien in there. And it starts swimming in the the earth ocean <laughs> as we kind of when we were watching the group chat. Yeah. The way he yeah, was moving kind of looked like it was kind of swimming. He was like, kind of well, moving like this, like he was swimming. The only thing I can the only, the only thing I can figure of is whatever species he is, our atmosphere, how he like interacts with it is the way that we would interact with water. If we were underwater, that, that's the that's the only thing I can think of. Our atmosphere yeah, is like was, fucking. But then there was that one scene where a boy like took out took off after like track star. <sighs> anyway, you're you're, you're asking for logic. I know. Alien. Um, happens so she too. sees the alien. She's scared. She runs up into the bathroom. Uh, she locks herself in there. The alien don't know where she is, but he uses his little uh, buttons on his thing, and she starts to have a nosebleed and starts screaming. And he's like, ha! I think she's where from the screaming's coming from. <laughs> so then she shows he shows up there and finds her. She runs away again. She hides in a different place uh, until her husband calls that some bitch and uh, gives away her uh, so she... hiding spot for the second time, and uh, yeah, finds her. And this time she doesn't get away. She pulls down the blanket, and there's Art the Clown picture because, of course, there is. Yeah, I that's the end of story too. Pulled down on her though. That's what I was waiting for her to like pull it and land on top right. of her. And I don't know if it would have been very heavy to like do any damage. So, but. So yeah, and then the lady's like, "Oh no, this is too scary. I'm gonna turn it off again." Cause she sees she sees something in the like in her peripheral, peripheral. version. Oh, I said peripheral, right? But I said version wrong. That's bad. Um, <laughs> and she thinks it's one of the kids. She goes upstairs. Not good. No. Um, she goes upstairs. She's like, "I told you guys to go to bed." And they're like, "Fuck you. We are in bed. You 
idiot. <laughs> and she's like, oh, yeah, it's a good point. You are both in bed. So, okay. She goes back downstairs. <laughs> Fucking my to, job's done. Yeah. Decides to put the tape back in again. And then we run into the last story, which is about a lady driving a car who goes to the worst gas station <laughs> on planet Earth. Yeah, it's like a murder gas station. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you ever see a gas station, introduced... you're like, I'm definitely going to get murdered. Yeah. There's, <laughs> uh, it's say... like a gas pump next to some warehouse, pretty much. I don't say, like. had she just left the money and said, fuck it all, <laughs> it wouldn't have been a murder gas station. Or, or even just when she walks into that scene, just look and kind of go, I didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. <laughs> yeah. That's where we're introduced, Art the Clown again. He gets chased off by the gas station attendant because he smeared his poo everywhere and pee and. He's a disgusting clown. Uh, and he's like, I'm going to kick your ass in 10 seconds if you don't get out of here. And Art's like, fuck you. Yeah, I'm out of here. Do you ever think he might be like some demonic animal? Could be why he poops everywhere. He's Could like be. marking his territory. Could oh. be. Yeah, so the, that one. the attendant and the lady have a nice little chizat about uh, she's lost. She needs to know where to get to the highway. He pulls out a paper and writes, here's the directions. And then he, they hear something in the room. The tenant goes into the building, does not come back out. Lady goes, hey, I should go into that creepy looking building and follow you in there. Never so she does. by a normal, rational yeah. person. Johnny's not she well built, in. we think. She walks in to see Art the Clown uh, sawing the guy's head off, as he, as he does. And she's like, oh no, nope, I will <laughs> just leave my money and I'll go, like I should have done 20 minutes ago. Right. And she runs and she gets in the car and she just drives away and then Art the Clown just keeps showing up on her journeys and eventually he gets to her and uh, let's say he does some body uh, modification to her towards the end of the uh I'm thinking old boy noticed that she didn't pay and so he was like chasing her down like a thief. Like, yes, so Art the Clown works for the department of uh uh, gas. I don't know which department. I don't think it's. A, I don't think this is department. I don't think that's the way that works. I'm just uh, saying, she never dropped the money. Sure. He's like, "Yo, dude, that's theft. What the fuck, yo? You, yeah, you make sure and you your pay shit your got out of hand. Like, I'm just out here innocently mutilating people, and you're here straight up robbing yeah. folks. Yeah, right. Literally said robbing folks. So, yeah. Like, what does that do for robbing. the economy, lady? Give us your money. So after that, the lady's like, holy shit, she gets a phone call, and it's the same phone call that the lady from the previous skit just made when she was in the car trying to report a murder, right? Well, that was, I'm correct, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, and she's like, whoa, this is weird. I just heard that in the television. Now it's on my phone. Whoa, nay. And then uh, Art the Clown tries to get out of the TV, and then he kind of does. He's up at the top of the stairs laughing like a crazy man. <laughs> and he goes he doesn't say it because he doesn't talk but he's like did you check the children because she checks the children and ooh, not There's good a lot more pieces yeah of those little lads are not making it to the sequel yeah <laughs> no. No. no no there's there's heads there heads there heads everywhere the end that was terrifying you know all housey i think what I think what really kind of like launched art was because we've got our silent killers. We've got Jason, we've got Michael Myers and shit. But art is that different ser uh, silent killer. You know, his. Well, art's very is... animated while being yeah, silent. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Mm. And I think that's what, you know, again, we've Jason, already had our silent Jason killers, and but Michael that's Myers. What sets him apart. Jason and Michael Myers, you're lucky to get a. I can't Fuck do you're it, lucky to get a thumbs yeah. up. You know, you know, you know the thing that they all do, where they look like a lost puppy. Do you know where they're like? Yeah, right. the, the head tilt. Like when you go, like you want to go outside, they're like, they like tip their head, they're, they're yeah. tilt their head. Right, exactly. He's like a silent, he's you like know? a silent version of of um, Freddy in a way because he delights in torturing his victims. Yeah, yeah. like he's, he's, he's more like as the movies go on, he's a lot everything. more like Freddy than you think. Yeah, yeah right. But and I know. Actually... Go ahead. But, oh, I was gonna say like, but that kind of like silent animated Freddy thing is what sells the character. You know, it just it makes it so much bigger and scarier because here he is like making a fun little joke in a moment while you're staring at like three of your decapitated friends. Like he's a psycho it's a mime, brilliant fucking character. He's a psycho mime, basically. Yeah, right. Aren't all mimes psychos? Yes, but he at least is embracing it and going with it and proving it and letting the world know how much of a psycho he is, whereas right, the rest of like, them just pretend to push against walls. Push against walls while the bodies are, like, buried under their house kind of shit. Like, they all 
they're all out there. I know. I know. Damian Leone, uh, his like idea for Art the Clown was like he was pretty much like at the anti Pennywise. Like you mm. take away, you reverse all color. Like Pennywise is more colorful. Make him completely black and white. You make him t- not talk. Completely silent. You know, Pennywise is more kind <laughs> of like a Freddy in a way where he like messes with you as he's trying to kill you and stuff he is like a that. talkative and, killing machine yeah. and vocally enjoys what he does oh yeah beep beep richie um but yeah i it was a good introduction like i said i actually just watched this t- two days ago for the first time like i knew of a holiday because of terrifier because i saw that first um, but it was the first time that I sat down and watched it. And it was a definitely good introduction to the character. You could tell who, obviously, you could tell who the central, you know, out of all the stories, who the who the ring is. Tristan, show must go on. Johnny never misses a show. You gotta... <laughs> <laughs> yada, yada, yada. <laughs> For me, like, I remember watching it when it came out and enjoying it for a whole bunch of different reasons, but never would have expected to see the 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 wildfire that is brought forth with terrifier terrifier yeah. 2 and just all the fan base for art the clown well i think it's because like we said we've seen silent killing machines that are relentless we've seen the talkative continually taunting your victim killers that are just fun so this truly is the the mix it is something we haven't seen before whereby you have the cycle of mime as i said he is a silent killer but he is very expressive and animated and fun and deliberately taunt when he deliberately taunts his victims. So it's just the first time and we've gotten that on screen. I also kind of have to give it up to the actor, like, because that's a lot of weight on your shoulder to sell a scene, you know, get everybody's attention, be creepy, be fun. Like the actor is just awesome to be able to sell something like that. And the thing with this guy is because this one um, wasn't done by David Howard Thornton. Um, the guy who they had was just a friend of uh, Damien Leone. And he, he wasn't actually an actor. He was Mike. just somebody that helped him. Yeah, yeah Mike I'm not even going to try to pronounce that last name. Um, it was just somebody that he had. It was a friend of his that he was just like, hey... I'm doing this movie. Can you just like, th- there's no dialogue or anything. I just need to throw, you know, some makeup on you. You just look creepy. You don't really have to do some a whole makeup. lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, because I know one Art the Clown for our David Mike Gianelli. 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 Yep, that's it. Um, it. Takes about three hours to put on that makeup from what they oh, say shit. for David. Yeah. for I don't know if it's the one from all hallows eve because that one didn't look as well the whole extensive. face is all the prosthetics for i don't know is it for hall hall because i when i noticed that, i don't notice with the all hallows eve one it was the that I much. the, gas station. the second sign yeah the gas station it was lit a, di- a bit differently and the okay. angles that we Even saw art see. from yeah the angles that we saw art from were different so as a result okay. you can see more of the prosthesis in regards to the okay. face makeup because he had like the crooked yeah. witch nose stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and the, like, and the more notes, yeah. cheap ones. Yeah, I'd say for me, like the first, like the with, when it comes to the actual stories, um, for a like, guy, don't dislike any of them. I feel like the alien one for me is kind of the weakest because it's just kind of yeah. like it's the same thing for quite a while. And it it's also like, okay, very like, stood out yeah. as like a sore thumb in the rest of the series. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because it was like the most serial killers, serial detracted. killer alien. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's just like, I'm going to chase you. I find you. Stop. You get away. Hide. I'm going to chase you again. Find you. And it's just like, okay, we can move on a little bit faster here. All I can think of is that they didn't want to have all three of the stories revolving around art. Even if it would have made sense overall story wise to have him being the focus of the video, he is the focus of the video, but. Having that third, having that middle story about it being aliens kind of breaks it up. So it's kind of like, oh, I'm watching an actual anthology as opposed yeah. to just a bunch of shorts about this killer clown. And I do right. like the the in between because sometimes with anthologies, the in between stories is kind of there. Obviously, it's there to transition you in between each you know story. 
but this one actually had a story within itself hmm. too with the the babysitter and the kids like Which, there's more to it than just hey we're just watching this movie on tv we cut to us after the end of one movie to go to the next if anything there's a story continuing yeah if anything i'd actually say that the babysitter is the story of the film and yeah what they see on the videotape is just a part which is of, normally a lot just, of times yeah. with the anthology thing it's the other way around yeah like the, right yeah. And that's what, to me, anyways, marks a good anthology with all yeah. the stories. You know, that's right up there with uh, for Trick or Treat with me. Everything just blends together, and you get an overall better story that way. Mm. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm just laughing how the two of you agreed, even though you notoriously hate that movie so much. Trick or Treat? Trick or Treat. I love Trick or Treat. I'm not, I'm not talking about you. Oh, I was the green. I, uh, forget it. I brought up the point in regards to <laughs> the first film that we were talking about, All Hallows Eve, and then character, and then character jumped in and said that that's what he liked about Trick or Treat, and I was just like, oh. <laughs> Do we got a trailer? Yeah, or? Just gonna push buttons. <laughs> but yeah, no, as like I said, it's I when looked at it from that point of view, I see All Hallows Eve as being less of an anthology movie. And more of a movie about this babysitter who stumbles upon this tape that has all this weird shit that starts to actually affect her in real life. And then by the end of it, you realize that that was just opening a doorway for this thing to come in and yeah. do what it does. Which she's been primed for by seeing all these other snippets of his escapades in this video that he's decided to leave her with as a kind of a teaser, I suppose. The word doesn't come to my hands. Well, you're not Magneto. Actually, it's probably made of plastic, so that wouldn't work anyway. No, it's made of steel. Oh, okay. You're not Magneto. No, oh, yeah, he doesn't look like uh, Magneto. Oh, well, yeah, no. You haven't seen me with my helmet on. Oh, that's true. <laughs> my, my apologies. You said Winsfully. What did we say? 20, 2013. <clears throat> and then I'm pretty sure yeah. it was Dread Central, wasn't it? No, who did this? Uh, I will check for you. Uh, uh, you know what? I, I honestly don't care. Okay, here's the trailer for... RLJE Films. Perfect. Here's the trailer for All Hallows Eve. We'll be back after the trailer with some ratings for the movie that we just reviewed called All Hallows Eve. We'll see you in a minute. Babysitting on Halloween night? That's just asking for trouble. Yeah, tell me about it. It's already been quite an eventful evening. Some creep slipped a videotape into Timmy's candy bag while we were trick-or-treating. A videotape? You should see what's on it. Turning it off. It's too violent for the two of you. Do you think that clown was real? No, it's just make believe. Demons, witches, monsters, that, that doesn't exist. Please! The killer is out here! He's following me! Who's following you? We are back. That was the trailer for All Hallows Eve from 2013. Yay. That's the movie we just reviewed. If you uh It was. If you weren't paying attention. These are all correct statements. Yep. Yep, yep. I give it a seven. Okay, uh won't lie to you, I haven't even pulled up the calculator yet, because my Sorry. my brain's not doing no work today. I'll tell you that straight out. <sighs> Sorry. I can calculate it. Uh maybe not. Can you? No. <laughs> I mean I <laughs> I can press when buttons it comes on to the math, calculator. It's like Johnny gives and then like a dead even I can press buttons on, on the calculator, but when it comes to figuring out the average, that's where I go, oh no. I'd say I'm probably gonna give this one a seven as well. Yeah, seven and a seven. And Carter. Seven. I'm, I'm, oh, I Okay, well it's a seven, because I'm also gonna give it a seven. Yay! Are you actually going to give it a 7 or did you just not want to work buttons anymore? No, it was coming in around the 7. 
7.5. It's an entertaining little piece of horror. Yeah, it is. And it, obviously, you can tell it's lack of budget, but I mean, that's. Can you? That I thought to be a bit. Yeah, I mean, with the exception of. With the exception of, of the Alien movie, you got to yeah. remember that, like, the Alien movie is the only isolated one that was probably shot by someone different completely. Yeah. The rest of it, overall, like. The rest of it is all good. very Art the Clown orientated. Yeah. So presumably, Damien Lelone shot a big chunk of that bar, presumably the Alien movie. Yeah. Which would be the most low budget out of the, the chunk, I think. Mm. Personally, no offense, Alien movie. And even and even then, I got to give it to them. Like, they still pulled off a good looking. Like, I wasn't. Did you, I did you not find it a bit cheesy when a... they went into, like, essentially the rubber umbilical cord? Ugh, I'm probably explaining that wrong. Ugh, never mind. Yeah, it's fucking not too bad a movie. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, seven. 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 Yeah. That's not the movie, seven. seven. Score seven. Um, I very rarely do what chat tells me, but I'm going to take Charlie's advice and I'm going to go make a coffee and eat 20, 25 paracetamols. Uh, uh, right. While you're doing that, we'll get into Terrifier. Yeah, do, do, do. 2016. Who's got it? 20... Uh, I can take it if you want. Oh, okay, go ahead. So, yeah, um, Terrifier starts off with basically a news report of the surviving of a victim from a massacre that took place and this lady is going to be on camera after waking up after a coma being completely and horribly disfigured the only survivor of a massacre of a massacre carried out by what has been known as art the clown or the um was it the mayfield clown or is that later on uh, so what uh, never mind never mind never mind this thing's being Before called I stand up i am wearing a onesie just to let you know just <laughs> rock that onesie dude ow oh my god i'm gonna fucking throw you but um, so yeah, they see news, or we, we're seeing a news report, and as this report is playing, we're seeing basically this character put on the face paint and the oil, you know, the, the oil paint, and you know, the costume and security. It's Art getting geared up to have a night on the town, and at the end of it, when the um, when the report is over, the one conducting the interview asks the survivor, "Does she think that Art is still alive?" And one says, "No, he's definitely dead. I saw it happen myself." This does not please Art, who kicks in the TV. Next, we go to two ladies, Victoria and Tara, who are on their way back from a Halloween night out. Um, not sure which... Oh, yeah. Tara is well cut, and as a result, Victoria is saying that she cannot drive. Then after a couple of moments, Victoria realizes that she's actually fairly well on it too. So it would probably be a good idea if the two of them went off and got something to eat, rather than, you know, potentially drink driving into a fucking pole or something. Um right. As they're attempting to make this decision, they spot a very mysterious black and white painted killing machine walking towards them, seeming strange and kind of waving and being friendly. This freaks out Victoria, who's like, you know what, let's, uh, come on, let's go, uh, go, this way, this way. So um, they go in, they find a pizza place that's open, they sit down. They are followed, basically, by Art, who sits across from them, kind of looking, smiling, waving. Tara eventually goes frack this for a tub of spin, gets up and says, take a selfie with him. Sitting on his lap and everything, moving his face, holding his face, all the crap. Doing everything to ask, but just straight up ass, like, kill me. Yeah, pretty much. Now, the owner of the pizzeria is kind of like, he's noticing what's going on, and he says to the girls, look, don't worry, I got this. He says to your man, look, you're going to have to fucking order something or fuck off. Art gets up, goes into the jacks, and then... A little while later on, after the two girls have a bit of a convo, we get the owner of the place kicking Art out of the jacks because apparently Art has decided to defecate everywhere for some strange and unknown reason. Not just everywhere. 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 So, um, the girls naturally decide, you know what? We're sober. We're, after all that freakiness with him and the, everything, yeah, nice and sober. Back to the car, and I can't remember why they didn't leave right then and there. Flat tire. One had to go. Thank you. Yeah, flat tire. Thank you. Thank you. The car had a flat tire. I couldn't remember there for a second. Yeah. Taking a first uh, game later, but the flat tire is what stopped him from traveling. Oh, I was wrong. It's not Tara and Victoria. It's Dawn and Victoria. My bad. Tara, I think, is the name of the sister. Yeah, Tara is the older sister. Um. So anyway, yeah, Dawn and Victoria. Victoria is deciding she needs to use Jax. Sees well. Dawn points out that some dude is after walking out of a building, and maybe she he'd let her use the toilets in there. She goes up, chants it. Turns out your man is an exterminator in kind of taking care of the building after hours. 
It's not supposed to let anyone in, but yeah, all right, frack it. Off you go. In you go. So, I'm surprised, though, that they just didn't go back to the pizzeria. Like, it was right there. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe, but it's probably... Well, also, did didn't he say that the bathroom was... Don't, no, they don't know why Art got kicked out. Oh, uh, I yeah. thought he said... No, no but, he was just see, super pissed and kicked him out. No, the thing is, it's a good job they didn't, because as Dawn is waiting for her friend in the car, she hears a news report about how, basically, the guys in the pizzeria were killed just moments ago. Really quick news report, by the way. Really quick. Oh, yeah. But they were well, killed just... They heard the screaming. Yeah, there was a screaming heard, and, you know, anyway. Um, but there was reports of a black and white paint painted clown covered in blood leaving the scene. Um, an ambulance and cops pass by at this stage. So, um, naturally, Don is rather freaked the frack out. Which isn't helped by the fact that I think he arrives on shortly afterwards, didn't he? Yeah, he like comes... The, the car, yeah, the car door opens and she assumes it's... Dawn, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, she thinks it's, it's Victoria, yeah. And even yeah. does like, you won't believe what I just heard on the right. Oh, shit, kind of vibe. He's like, please tell me what happened. <laughs> so anyway, as all this is going on, um, Tara is making her way back out of the, the toilet and stumbles into a room filled with tires. I think she thought... She, did she hear a cat or something? Something like that? Yeah. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Follows the sound of the cat, sees a room filled with tires, then meets a very nice crazy lady living in the building who wonders, is she the new tenant? And could they maybe do washing together? Because she could do with some nice conversation. And um, Vicky naturally is very polite about it and says, yes, she is the new tenant. In fact, has she seen the landlord? Because it's the first of the month and rent is due. She really needs to go and find that landlord. Fantastic way best, of getting out of the conversation with a crazy person. Route, like, yeah, dude. Like, she just, oh, dude. The lady was like, that's punctuality, that's good. Shit. Yeah, like, she even got complimented by crazy yeah. lady for the fact that, oh, yeah, got to be punctual. Yep, yep. Because, like, once the crazy lady showed her her, her her newborn baby doll. Yeah. And it knew that, like that, that all the lights were done in that little, little house. But, um... But played it like a champ and got the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the fuck happens next? She goes upstairs to talk. Oh, no, she stepped out and ran into Art. She made her way back to the front door. Runs into Art at the front door. So she runs upstairs looking for what's his nuts. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but before she can get to him, Art manages to whoop and draw her into a dark alley because the fumigator has got like earphones on and he doesn't give a frack. Yeah. Um, so a nice little dose of nighty night juice into the neck later and Vicky finds herself in some people's pleasure, most people's nightmares of being duct taped <laughs> to a chair. Um, so yeah, Art's there. And that's, you know, and not a good sign. Super happy. Yeah, he's super happy because why wouldn't he be? He's got a hot naked chick, upside down, just dangling from a bag full of toys. To... Yeah, and I love how the subtlety of like there's this there's one piece of clothing on her, and Art just goes over and just before he gets a, I'm just yeah. like out. There's right. no way he could have done. Away. Couldn't have done it right. with that saw, by the way. Could not have done it with that saw. The saw blade, like what he did with that saw blade. Would have broken. I'm glad that was your takeaway on that moment. Wait, like, it should have been a bone saw. I mean, like he. I get it, but I'm just saying, like, I feel like maybe he just keeps his toys sharper than most, so I don't know. I don't know. Mm, I, I don't. Also, think... feel like this may not be the first time he's done that magic trick, so I, I, I honestly, it is. Know what he's doing. It, to be fair, it is quite the magic trick. He saw that lady in half. Um. From... Naturally, yeah. Vicky is a little bit, um, how can I put this, freaked the frack yeah. out by this experience. <laughs> Fortunately for her, the wood and the chair that she's duct taped to doesn't appear to be that strong and she manages to break free. Um, unfortunately for her, Art notices this and decides she's been a very naughty girl and he should just like stab her in the leg a few times to slow her down. Um, yeah, the rest of the film is basically a cat and mouse game where Vicky tries to get away from Art Art runs into the various other people who are in the place, such as the fumigator and the cat lady. Vicky's now, Vicky also, managed. <laughs> Vicky had so, previously contacted her sister to give them a lift. So the sister was on the way, and Art gets his hands on Vicky's phone and uses that to lure the sister. Vicky had a not too good time. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, no. we've got truth. Not as bad as her friend, though. No, yeah. no, her friend has a much worse time. So. 
like I said, it's basically the film is a cat and mouse game whereby Art is chasing Vicky, is hunting down the other people in the building, is using Vicky's phone to lure her sister Tara into all these traps, well, all these traps, into the building itself. And overall, it's a good example, I suppose, an elongated example of what we were seeing in All Hallows' Eve in regards to the shorts. We have Art, Picky's victim, and calling it Terrifier is apt because he yeah. seems to enjoy, you know, the the hunt and 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 torturing his victims as much as actually killing them and not just killing them. Sure. What's the point of doing it if you're not going to enjoy it? Yeah. But <laughs> brutally mutilating them in such a way that once again we do uh, once again I personally had it in my head that when he was drawing art everywhere, that that's it was a statement of fact as opposed to proclaiming his name. But yeah. that was just my take on it. Art maybe is it was just my mind not working. Yeah. Maybe it was just my mind working here because some of the stuff seemed very artistic in how he was He's got a he's doing. got a Pension for showing off. Yeah, as we said, like we went, I briefly, yeah. briefly Hater went through. actually said that up the chat there a little bit as well. Then he was like, do you ever think it might be he's an artist? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I can. there's an art in murder. <laughs> there was there's that awesome speech from um, <sighs> Man on Fire. Did you ever see that? Denzel Washington. No. No. Christopher Walker. I heard Walker. it was good, but I've never seen it. Yeah, he, he's like a hired security guy, but he's like top, top notch. And, um, Christopher Walken runs into the bad guys and he has this epic speech where he's like, like anything, everything is art, depending on how you approach it. And the art that Quincy's into is murder and he's about to paint his masterpiece. And then he went and painted his masterpiece because people died a lot in very inventive ways. He shoved an explosive grenade up a guy's asshole. Oh no. Well, no that's what the guy said. A lot of people, I've heard art. a lot of people give that movie praise, but I've just never got You need to watch it. It's a fucking great movie. Really good movie. Art. Art didn't shove a grenade up anybody, but he did. The, 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 the performance piece with Dawn, I thought, was where I was really sitting there kind of going, it has to be Art. Like, it's not just his name. It has to be his, his yeah. thought process. So are you talking about the sawing in half? The bifurcation? Yes, the magic, the magic trick. We, yeah, we were, yeah. But, um, I get yeah, as I was saying, overall, Terrifier is... Yes, he did a really do a good great job painting the walls with his shite, Joseph. Overall, Terrifier is a really good example and uh, an extension of what we were basically getting snippets of in the primarily the two, the, the the start and the finishing short from All Hallows' Eve and I suppose the overreaching story arc altogether whereby basically, he just... If, if, if you hadn't people. come to the understanding that Art the Clown likes murdering people from watching All Hallows' Eve, it is very much definitively set in stone watching Terrifier. You know now. You know now. <laughs> He likes murdering people, and he's very good at it. Yep. And this is just... The, the, the gore level is pushed off the chart in this because they decided, you know what, we're going to actually gratuitously show things like him smashing people's faces in with hammers and fucking... Didn't he crack open the janitor's head, or am I... Yeah, yeah he just... Well, he did, but he did it with his heel. Like... Yeah, yeah that was it, that was it. Like, he didn't actually get down and do some shit. He just kind of stomped it till it opened. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, no, Terrifier. It's a good watch if you like your... um, If you enjoy watching a silent, very animated, very humorous at times killing machine, not just hunt, mutilate, and torture his victims, but clearly enjoy his work and present it in a very, as you said, artistic frame of mind, I guess. Then, yeah, this is definitely a film for you. I know uh, with David Howard Thornton, with this being the first time playing art, I know they said like one of like his, insp not insp yeah, I guess inspiration from doing art was like, one thing he said he really enjoyed is the fact that like the prosthetics made it uh, able for him to use his facials because that was definitely a key with this character is because without being able to talk and to distance yourselves from the Jasons and the Michaels. But it's not just distance yourself. To... It's it's also like the reason that those guys can't animate in any manner whatsoever is they're all masks. behind masks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like if you look at Freddy Krueger, the reason Freddy Krueger was so animated was it was all prosthetics on his face. So as much as he was yeah. layered into it, you could still put on a performance. Maybe I, said, maybe I chose the wrong word. But I meant like because he, cause he didn't have that mask, he was able to use his no you chose the right features. word i was agreeing with you oh yeah and then i know another thing he said like because he's a very big like um 
physical comedy actor or fan. So he was really trying to be like, if I could do like, he's a big fan of like Mr. Bean and stuff like that. So that was what he, he tried to do that silent physical comedy that you were able to do it, that he's able to do. He took that in as inspiration uh, for the character and did it very well. Cause and not like, and like, I even really thought the first guy, cause we talked how art changed from all Hallows Eve to there here. I thought, the first guy did an awesome job and then all of a sudden you know here comes uh david and he just upped the fucking level like raised the bar wholeheartedly and the the biggest reason why they changed is because like i was telling you guys before um the previous guy wasn't really an actor and because there was so much time between the two films he just didn't really feel like doing it anymore and i guess he um i was actually just watching an interview today um damien said that i guess the guy put on a little bit of weight and the big thing with art was he wanted him to be tall and skinny and the guy was gonna you know kind of go and try to lose some yeah, weight fuck you chunky no clown job for you wow. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna try to like lose some weight and then he told damien yeah i'll go ahead and do it but then like last minute he's like yeah i don't know if i can do it i'm not an actor i'm not gonna go through with it and then that's when they had to do the the um casting call what, what, yeah i was trying to what word i was trying to use those are the uh, words you're looking like, for yeah um so they had dave come in he was like the sixth guy and then after that he was like yeah he came in oh, and no did shit. the whole yeah during his uh audition that was the word i was looking for audition um during his audition he did the thing where like they didn't tell him what anything you're a silent killer that's all they told them they need to like act like you're cutting a guy's heads off and you're enjoying it so that's what dave did he did the whole thing cut off the head and he went to taste the blood and he's like hmm, not right enough put a little bit of salt on the blood and then nice, tasted Charlie. it yep good and then he kind of skipped off and then after that damien's like yep that's our man <laughs> there's <laughs> our what, psycho mime yeah that's what won him the part Traitor. so great movie very good movie uh, I was really surprised when this actually hit Netflix. Night Charlie. That's where in the States it Charlie. was on, on Netflix at the time. That's when I first saw it. It didn't get like a big theatrical release or anything like that. It just kind of like it was that creepy clown movie on Netflix that people kept saying, oh, wow, that clown looks creepy. I should watch this movie. And <clears> I did. Well, there's also there's the benefit of it's very rare when you see a movie franchise that they're like, oh, we're going to turn it up to. 110 the next movie and then they do mm. it <laughs> yeah. because it was yeah. like fucking hell this is way way gorier than what i just watched in 2013 yeah and 2013 yeah, was no a lot of people s say they're going to but then just kind of fail yeah and cranking it up no or just being it's, able it's... to have the ability to do it too right and then the movie we're going to get onto after the trailer cranks it up to 150 Whew. Oh yeah, Great like stuff. they they were like, well, if you like this, here's fifty more of it. Like they cranked that yeah. shit even more. Um, right, we're gonna do the trailer for Terrifier, and then we'll be back talking about Terror. Uh, excuse me, uh, talking about Terrifier too. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna talk about. I'm fine. Why? I keep looking over your shoulder. What if that guy did this to your car? <laughs> what guy? The clown? <laughs> you really think someone slashed my tires? Well, he knows this is your car. He saw us getting into it earlier. Hey, handsome! Cut it out. My friend wants your Did number. I kill you. Look, that guy was harmless. He's just some douchebag in a costume acting like a retard because it's Halloween. with me until 
Yeah, just go There's poking a... the bear for any stranger. Yeah. Well, I think she wanted the bear poked. That's why she was bragging about it. <laughs> oh, right. That was the trailer for Terrifier. Very good. I give it an eight. Oh, yeah. Terrifier gets an eight from me. Yeah, Terrifier gets an eight. And like, it, it set out what it was going to do. Have serial killer, have victims, have credits, like, and just a bunch of cool shit in between. Yeah. It didn't really mess about with anything. It was just this is what we're doing right. and go. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it an edge. Like, like that could not have been any better of a didn't have a discernible plus. A that was one of my things that I always turned on with the yeah, movie. That's ah! what it kind of uh, dropped a little bit for me. That's why it's not like a nine. I don't know. Like to me the plot was have victims will kill. Like that was kind of like any It's not much more of a plot or... though. I mean well. In Hall I, I just like in Hollow Z we see he's a fucked up individual. Here we see he's a fucked up individual that likes to kill motherfuckers. Yeah, everybody go for eight. Yeah. All right. We're we're all eights. Okay, well then making it easy on you tonight. Thank you. I have a feeling the next one's gonna be different because I have a feeling there's two gloomy gusses I that are gonna make it difficult. You. <laughs> I'm not a fucking gloomy gust, thank you. I am chipper, I am friendly, outgoing. I am not gloomy. I'm a person of the peoples. <laughs> right. Got that on tape. Yep. All right. So, Terrifier 2. Terrifier 2. It just Sanders. came out. So, like, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? He said lies and slander. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifier 2. You know, like I said, uh, it just came out. So, we're not going to get too far into it. Um, but. One of the cool things is, you know, Terrifier 1 ends in a certain way, and Terrifier 2 picks up right from there. So they do a Halloween, like a, Halloween 2 on us. Yeah, exactly. like you get, a, you get a, a flow and continuation like into Terrifier 2. Extra points um, for me, because I love that aspect. Oh, dude, I'm always a fan of those. Like, if you can figure out how to do that, it's awesome. <laughs> Excuse me. So we get Art the Clown back on his feet. And uh, we're going to go start murderizing some fucking people. Uh, we get introduced to a... I forgot her fucking name. Uh, Sienna? Hello. Yeah. yeah. Sienna. Okay. Yeah. I Sorry. wanted to make sure I pronounced that right. So we get introduced to Sienna and uh, her little brother, Jonathan, and their mom. Um, unfortunately, you know, they've lost their dad, so it's a family trying to figure that shit out and still go on about their day-to-day -day school, what have you. Um, mom definitely having some trouble dealing with the kids, what have you. Um, and we just recently, we're still kind of recovering from the first movie of this guy in a clown suit going around just fucking murderizing a bunch of people. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's see. Daughter Sienna's getting ready. You know, she's got a Halloween party she's got to get ready for. Little brother's trying to do some weird shit. Um, and before you know it, we're running into Art the Clown. He's starting to pop up already. You know, what we, we opened the movie. Yeah. Yeah. In such a weird way. Like, that was fucked up. But kind of weird. He went off cool. and he cleaned these clothes because they were covered in somebody else's blood. Yeah. Like that's that what scene, I liked about it. Like that he just scene raises in. questions in my head. Yeah, it does. That confused really me later does. on down the road. Yeah, same here. Um, but his again, it goes back to that acting of just what makes Art the Clown so awesome is he just casually walks in, blood head to toe, strips right down in the laundromat, washes his shit, then reads the paper, waiting for his shit to dry, like. And then hallucinates a little guard version of himself he starts That's playing the patty cake with. Me. Yeah. Um, you know, so like, he's just like every everyday Joe, just going to wait for my shit. Cool. Butt naked in the laundromat. Now I'm going to get dressed and go on about my fucking killing spree. Like, I loved it, but it was kind of fucked up because of the whole uh, introduction of a new character. <clears throat> um, eventually, we... We eventually realize that Sienna has some sort of path that she's going to walk with Arthur Clown. And we get introduced to quite a few fucking kills. Uh, some super awesome. 
like the candy dish. Um, some super fucking brutal. Like me and Johnny were talking about this a while back of people throwing up in the movie theater. And I was like, really? And he's like, dude, this is probably the most fucked up movie we've had in the theater for a long time. And when you see some of the brutal shit that goes on in this movie, I can see some of those. I like, don't, I don't know. Lightweight. I don't know about outside of the States. Cause obviously I'm not there. But like in the in the states, unrated movies don't normally hit theaters. No, right, right. So that's why this was such a big deal when it did hit theaters. And then the people that normally go to theaters aren't your traditional horror watchers. So when yeah, they're introduced like, to images geez. that they're introduced to, I could see it oh, happening. Yeah. No, but I, I, I first kind of like I said, I was going to call bullshit, but then like. Johnny kind of pointed out, like, that's not your average horror film, you know? We're more getting into jump scares and shit, so here's this brutal fucking movie. I can definitely see people, like, not reacting well in the theater and, you know, throwing up, what have you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, seeing his little brother, Jonathan, definitely knows something's up. He's like, dude, art's here, bad shit's gonna also fucking happen. Also, possibly a serial killer in the making. Possibly. He does give those yeah. vibes. He's always he on the computer. Does. He's right. he wants to dress up like Art the Clown for Halloween. You know. He's going through the sketchbook that his dad uh, had left back. I thought it was some... funny that this movie was made, like you know, obviously made a year or two ago. Do you know what I mean? And uh, yeah. that in in the movie, she's like, you know, you can't just go around dressing like serial killers. I mean, how would someone feel if you dressed like Ted Bundy or fucking Jeffrey Dahmer or Ted Bundy? And I'm like, well, <laughs> yeah. strap in for this Halloween, lads. <laughs> I was like, the theater's going to be out 50,000 Jeffrey She Dahmer. mentioned, the actress mentioned something about that on Twitter where people were like, oh, only if, and they're like, yeah, some, like a lot of people, some people know about the, you know, this was made almost like three years ago. Others didn't, so they were just like, "Oh, well, wait a second, uh, that doesn't match up." It's like, you know, fuck face. The movie's made like three years ago. That fucking Netflix thing wasn't out yet. So, yeah. Yeah, so just to let you know, customarily movies are made years in advance because it takes time to edit them. Yeah, because this, they said they pretty much had a, most of this movie done in 2019. Oh shit! Yeah, like 90 wow. percent of the movie was done in 2019. That you just had some few pickup shots and stuff like that to do but then COVID hit and that just and then because of that happening while they were not able to do stuff for so long his mind got like okay well we need to make things bigger and bigger and more grander while he had time to sit with it so that's why it took even more longer to do it I can see in some aspects of that being awesome because uh, like some of the kills like I said were just fucking outright brutal to watch like holy shit um, so like I said, we are, the sister is definitely asking mom, like, Hey, I think something's wrong with our, with, you know, Jonathan, Jonathan, yeah. mom is not happy. She's super protective of Jonathan, but then it's not as soon as he fucks up and she's all over his ass. Mom's a weird character. Mom's a bit well, of a uh, yeah. And that, and you can also tell she's not all there because of the large amounts husband. of alcohol slash pills that she also the husband barbecue the that they all had to that, watch yeah right well that's what led to the state that she's in with the alcohol you would the... hope so again yeah, the family true. the family's gone through some shit and they're all not handling it very well um but yeah so like i said jonathan definitely thinks art the clown is here bad shit's gonna fucking happen tonight and of course He's the poor bastard that nobody will listen to, you know. Shut up, bro. It's cool. You're just acting up. Shut up, dude. You know. Unfortunately, art is there, and art is fucking this. Well, art also did the smart thing of uh, stitching him up with a dead raccoon in the school that he got pinned for. So little Jonathan, awesome. truth, he whatever. Possibly just an angry boss. raccoon. Right. I don't care. I also art like the comment that tracks. Sienna made to the mom earlier in the movie, where she's like when she brings up to the mom where it's like he's going crazy you know we need to like do something he's like pretty soon there's going to be a don't be surprised if you're going to see dead animal up in his bedroom and then like 20 <laughs> minutes later then here we go there's the possum and um, then she comes up he's like you know what he did have a dead animal you were right I should have listened to you so the uh, I, I love when party. she flips the switch then and she's like I don't think he did it and the mom is just like what the yeah. fuck are you talking about <laughs> 
bitch, you literally told me he was cutting dead animals up in his room yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, Ma, but that was before I started seeing strange, freaky, psychic shit. I was shit just about no to give you credit, and then you take it away. What is right, going like, on here? You need to pick a lane. Where are we fucking arguing from? This lady here? needs to get better children. That's all I'm saying. These two kids are trying to kill her. But, uh, so, Mom and Son have a huge blowout because of the whole school thing and what have you. Um, we start to kind of do some therapy of, like, you never blah, blah, blah. Son runs off. Mom, uh, ma mom manages to take out some of her anger with introducing five across the eyes to his face. Yeah. She gave him a five to the face. Five to the five, paint, paint, paint the nail, well. say to the face. So, right. He did not handle that well, so he decided I'm going to do a walkabout. She calls the daughter to bitch and complain about her brother. <laughs> the daughter is at a huge, you know, Halloween party that she's been slowly working for has built her costume piece by piece, which, by the way, looked cool. I'm like, until until it accidentally went up in flames after good. that. Until it accidentally went up in flames after that whole nightmare. It was, it was only the wings went up in flames. Yeah. But you know what, dude? Still, like, the fact that she said she'd been working so hard on it, I was like, that sucked. But you know what? Still looked cool. Um, so she I feel got, like cool is code word for something. <laughs> She's at the party trying to talk mom down. Now she's kind of worried about the brother of the mom, but her friend's like, dude, we're at a party. Kick back. Matter of fact, I'm going to slip something in your drink. Your drink. Uh, right. Also, like, I've spiked you with drink. a load of Molly. Don't be calling your mom. <laughs> <laughs> she's all like feeling the walls and shit. She's like, right. this is crazy. You know, although I will say the Molly let her up a, uh, in an amazing deceptive sidetrack yeah. to get the mom out of being angry with her because the mom was losing her shit. And she's just like, I love you, mom. She, yeah. And she's right. like, what the fuck do you, what the fuck are you on about? She's like, I just, I never she say it to you that, enough like anymore. A champ. I love you, mom. And I was just like, way to defuse this. Si Wow, if yeah. I thought of that instead of screaming you fucking cunt at my mom um, fucking several times over the years. <laughs> Her mom went oh, from I'm going like, to kill oh you God, to yeah, I love you too. too. Alright, you know what? Have a couple drinks. Uh, just, yeah. just be safe. Yeah, she's... But we needed that to happen because the mom's about yeah. to have not a very good a time. bad day. <laughs> yeah. Right. She's in the car cleaning up a, a mess that she thought her son did with the toilet paper and the, and the pumpkin here's... and the, the bitch. And here's Jamie how she could have saved her life. If you thought the kid did it, make the kid clean that motherfucker. Like, why do I need to clean that? More importantly, how fast does that kid work? Hey, kids. Well, I think she thought he had done it before the before. slap in the face argument. Why would he have done it before the because slap in the face argument? he was grounded not allowed out in Halloween and distinctly angry at her. Right. Bit of a in escalation way, like... of events there. He is 12 Either, years old. Yeah, I was just going to go. His 12-year-old, everything is an escalation of events with a 12-year-old. Right. Either way. <laughs> like, you were 12 could, once. Yeah, yeah I was not for that. I made him clean that shit. <laughs> so. <laughs> she lost mom her head to, over the situation, we'll right, say. <laughs> like, mom lost her head over the situation. Uh, son comes back home, and all of a sudden he's kind of like, okay, i got to talk to mom. Oh, my God, Arthur <laughs> Clown, what are you doing here, bro? Uh, I'm feeding well, your dead mom. Yeah, that's right. You know, so I'm having a dinner potatoes. party with mommykins. Yeah, now, giving her know, some mashed potatoes. Kids definitely having a bad night. Um, <laughs> yep. the yeah, Jonathan's Molly, not having a good time. The <laughs> Molly that uh, was slipped to Sienna that was actually helping her for a second, like Johnny pointed out. She's super kind of focused, but all of a sudden she's like, hey. And her friend's like, She well, was not focused. She was just loved up to her fucking eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> but her friend's like, she's hey, look, dude. I slipped you something, but I'm going to walk you through it. Number one, don't call your fucking mom. Number two, let's go out on the dance floor, have some fucking fun. Yeah, and guess you don't what? waste it. It helped. She's having a good time. Until she sees a creepy kid, that makes her have like a mental fucking break in the middle of the dance floor. Um, so we decided to leave the party. Better, At which point, better dance floor scene than Halloween ends, I can tell you that for sure. Yeah, well, that's not having a seizure on the floor. I'm just saying, old boy was the first time in like public. He was enjoying it. She was not enjoying it, having a fucking mental break in the middle of a dance floor. Like, no. total different worlds. Um, we we're going decide. to start raining back the facts from the movie a little bit now because we're getting near the end and everyone's been, including right. myself, rather descriptive about what's happened in the movie so far. Uh, we decided to leave the party. Unfortunately, my little brother needs help. And so then it's the going to go help the brother. A lot of other bad shit happens. Some good shit, mostly bad, but then there's some good. 
and we just get a lot of cool, cool visuals. What? There's just some good shit happens. The match is really bad. I mean, like, there's some good shit. There's like some brother sister bonding. <laughs> he t- he took, I think that took us on a roller coaster, is what I'm hearing. Yeah. We had, it's like <laughs> a river. You. We had like, ebbs and flows. He, um, he took your direction literally. He was just like, ah, I'm things trying, happen, things know? happen. Like, non descriptive things <laughs> I'm trying to let people know you're going to be on a roller coaster as this yeah. shit progresses. Yeah. You know, especially Love for like. Love. Right. Well, I, you know, yeah, I guess so. But, you know, when you sit down for like two and a half fucking hours, there's going to be a little bit of a fucking roller coaster before you hit the credits. But just a shout out, there's also, what do we say, mid credit or post credit? I think it's mid credit. I missed that. Mid. Okay. <coughs> so, but, you know, because. You're so used to, like, say, just all of the superhero movies doing it. Hey, guess what? Some other people are also. So when you watch Terrifier 2, you definitely want to kind of let the credits roll for a second and hit that. Is it? Are, are they credits. indicating towards Painmaker versus Art the Clown? Is that what I'm... No. That's what I've envisioned in my head. That no, he, was a, he was an absolute doll in that scene. He was the exact opposite of the Painmaker. Pain Chris Jericho. Pain Chris, Jericho. Chris Jericho oh, when he decided to dress like you. a goth man. That's right. Yeah. And thank you. Man. I forgot that was one of his. It was when okay. he was in his Taco Orange phase. Yeah. Right. 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 But no, he he <laughs> no. was a he was a security guard. And Orderly. He's also, from what I understand, a blood sucking. <laughs> oh, I missed that. He was Either eating way. some ge- gelatin. In the way, super weird that he just like that was his cameo. It was just kind of like, a, hey, where, where else I'm are you going to fit a fucking to... wrestler in? I don't know, like body slamming a motherfucker, not like trying to talk a coworker into trying my wife's treats. Yeah, I, I'll, t- I'll tell you a secret, right? If if Chris Jericho body <laughs> slammed, oh, Buzz, that's a dark turn. You just took, if bro. Chris Jericho Morning, body yeah. slammed Arthur Clown in the mid credit sequence, that's no longer a mid credit sequence. That's an actual <laughs> sequence in the movie. <laughs> no, no, no. You said, where would you put him? And I was like, I don't know. So, like, I would have put him somewhere else thinking, oh, I'm going to suplex a bitch and then fail But him. nobody wants to see Fuck. Jericho die, except for Triple H, possibly. <laughs> okay, you know what? But you know what? Hey, like, Damien, uh, this is the game. Uh... But that only Can reinforces Art the Clown. If Jericho, you, like, Macho suplexes Man's fucking ass second cousin loses. It? It's goddamn Triple H. Uh, <laughs> fucking do some wrestling. Uh. It also has a great theme song, Clown Cafe. Are you going to sing it? Oh, that was so fucking awesome. It'll get stuck in your head. Are you going to sing it? I need to get the words up. Uh Uh-oh. So, while Buzz is doing that, I will say, like, I I dug the special effects. Uh... I dug the movie overall. I just had a lot of questions about the story. A lot of things were brought up that I was just not necessarily sold on or like could figure out. The um, main thing, the main thing for me is um, okay. So we've seen Art the Clown in All Hallows Eve, and we've seen him in Terrifier, and it seems that when he runs into a victim, it's more a case of it's who he runs into, especially in in the first Terrifier movie. He just he just randomly ran into those girls, and that was him off the go. In this. He targets the family, and we're never really given a clear reason or, why. Well, well, I think I think we are. You're just not at liberty and or acknowledging right. it. It makes reference to something, but there's it makes reference to something in regards to the dad, like and what happened before. But there's never any real connection drawn as to why it's it's to, a current thing. You need to take. You need, you need to take a look at how they're making reference to something in the movie. It's not mildly making reference to something. There's a point in relation to that particular story arc that they are trying to drill home by the end of the movie. Which I get, but I don't get. And there's I not guess, a... like Buzz said, there's supposed to be a Terrifier 3. I mean, he says he has that. I mean, it hasn't been officially announced. He said he oh. has he has the framework for what it would be if they do a third one. I'm okay. sure he wants to do the third one. He wanted to kind of the way from talking from the interviews I've seen that he wants this to be at least a trilogy. 
but there hasn't been an official announcement. I mean, as things get left off in the second one, there's hints, but because you the, the second movie there's a lot of things left open well the second like the second movie where the storyline takes a bit of a twist compared to everything else we've seen because i'm aware in all hallows eve that you know he's kind of jumping in and out of the television to a certain degree well not jumping in and out of it you know what i mean but there's a bit of a, a supernatural right. vibe to him but it's never really explored properly terrifier one there's no supernatural vibe he's just on a merciless killing spree until you get to the end where he gets shot in the back of the fucking head gets his eye torn out and we get to the hospital where there's definitely some supernatural activity Which I was in play in, in relation to Art part. the Clown <laughs> so I, I mean fucking hell I nearly broke my nose uh, so I'm interested like where they might go with that the bit the, the bit out of that whole new arc that they started exploring that confused me a little bit and it's only because of one scene confused me was as you mentioned there's he has a creepy sidekick um now when you first meet the creepy sidekick is in the the scene that buzz i think it was buzz or carter was talking about earlier in the laundromat where art just walks in balls naked um <laughs> starts doing his washing then the creepy clown chick shows up now they make a definitive note of letting you know that he can see the creepy clown clown chick nobody else can which starts to give you an indicate, like an idea that it's like, okay, is he just tapped in the fucking head? He got shot in the fucking brain. Is it a weird hallucination? Whatever. And then without any explanation, the chick's just visible to everybody else for the rest of the movie. Right. Okay. But then at the another... same time, hang on. And then at the same time, for some reason, Art is able to make himself only visible to these kids. No one else seems to be able to see. Yeah, him. I'm telling you, I think he's going up a. But Aren't they able to make himself only visible to these kids? Where'd you get yeah, that from? There, yeah, there are times when only the two, only Sienna or her brother seem to be able to see Art. No nope. one else seems to be able to see him. That no. doesn't happen in the movie. I saw everybody see Art. It was the sidekick that I noticed nobody else could see. Yeah. You've done a gaze on it when they storyline a bit that isn't there. The only... No, I, I genuinely only... thought that nobody else could see Art. When, when she's inside in the, the costume shop and she's seeing him, I thought no, no one else could see him until, hang on, was until, fucking... let me finish what I'm saying. I thought nobody else could see him until the very end when he wanted to be seen so they could make a kill. No, I think it was more of a case of it was Halloween and they've probably had a lot of creepy fucks walking in and out right. with fucking costumes he on. So he paid no attention until yet. he started actually right. acting yeah, aggressive. Because he walked in as soon as her friend was coming out to go talk to her mom and she saw him right away. She's like, oh, and he's like, goes like that. She goes by. And then he goes down to where Sienna's at. All right. And then right. he comes right back up. The only time maybe was in the school. But there was that no was around that's around honestly about that's probably Jonathan. yeah yeah. There with, was with no, the whole only pop. person that saw him was was Jonathan. him. Yeah. Right. They were gone by the time the teacher came back. There was no. It okay. wasn't a case of that would have been the only time where I would have maybe. But then he also started seeing the girl too. At that, that's when everybody he everybody started first seeing saw... the girl. That was the fucking thing. That's what threw me off. Was when did well, the girl actually, become... it's just the two. It's just the two, Sienna and Jonathan, because at the party, Sienna's seeing the girl, but nobody else is, because she starts freaking out. But then no one sees the girl. It's just those Maybe, two. Maybe, but then there's other bits the where other people see the girl, not just those two. If memory serves me correctly. From what I can remember, I think it's just the two. But then I, I mean, there might be, I, because I know she's up at the school with Art when Jonathan sees him. And then the other time is at the party where Sienna's the only one that sees her. She starts yelling and everybody else is like, what the hell are you yelling at? We don't see anything. But that all could, should also just be timing because, like, you see people walk in front of her. She disappears. Yeah. Like, yeah. So we never really know for it's sure. It's also at a fancy dress party where a creepy chick right. is not like, particularly yeah. like stand out. She wouldn't have stood out, right. But no, that is definitely one of the, the few questions I have is the, is those moments of the little of the little sidekick and shit. Um, right, I think that's as much as we can get into without getting full blown into spoiler territory, even though we've kind of trounced up that route. Anyway, will we hit a trailer? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, did you figure out what you're dressing up as tomorrow? He wants to dress up as a real guy who murdered nine people last year. Oh, you're not doing that. It's just a costume. You think that guy's still out there? 
What's up with you and this clown all of a sudden? You're like obsessed. They never found his body. What if he decides to come back here? I wouldn't worry about it. Wait a minute, aren't you that guy from the costume shop? Sir, what are you doing? It wasn't me. He was covered in blood on his shirt and his hands when he got here. I'm telling you, it was him, Ellie. Right down to the little black dot on the tip of his nose. You're really weird, you know that? I believe him. About what? Something really bad's gonna happen tonight. No, I, I know when Jonathan's lying, okay? I, I could hear it in his voice. Something's, something's wrong. Look, we're gonna have fun. Mm -hmm. Stress-free environment. Yep. Speaking of surprises, kids, we have a very special guest with us today. All the way from Miles County, please welcome Art the Clown. And we're back. That was the trailer for Terrifier 2. Ratings, please. Nine. Uh, well, I thought the, the effects and the kills were fucking awesome. I was kind of like two and a half hours. Like, I was having a little trouble with the length. I And I, a little bit of the story kind of got me. So I'm going to go seven. I'm going to go eight, same as the last movie. Because I, I agree with you. The, the length, I don't... I don't think it needed to be two and a half hours. There, were, there was a lot of... Right. No, don't get me wrong. I love gore and killing as much as the next guy. But there was a yeah. lot of miscellaneous killing that didn't really have a whole lot of bearing on the plot of or the movie. Or stretched out killing. Yeah, that I think we could have, you know, we could have lost two kills and come in at 150. Right. And had a, had a pretty tight, fast pace. I think the re I'd say the reason for that probably goes to what character was saying earlier, whereby... When moving from All Hallows Eve to Terrifier, they're like, let's turn the dial up. Therefore, when moving from Terrifier to Terrifier 2, let's turn that dial up. So as a result, we got far yeah, more gratuitous spang. If you put a turkey in the oven. What? And if you put a turkey in the oven and you turn the dial up, you customarily need to cook it for less. And that's, yeah. This isn't an oven. This is the violence dial. Yes, it Could is the violence dial. I think if you, I think if you say, say, if anything, I, I didn't count the, the speaker. I didn't count the kills, right? Hypothetically, say, there, say there's 10 kills in there. I think we could have had a solid six kills and you spend a little bit more time on those murders and go right. really fucking OTT on it and come in at about maybe 145, 150 without just, a necessity like, for all the extra stuff. Because there was a lot of kills there where it was cool to see him do the stalking, but he mostly just either smashed their head in with a hammer or stomped their face in with his foot. Right. And I'm not trying to be like, oh, Carter's That's AD. why I'm implying like, that if you're going to just... turn the dial up, you can yeah. reduce the time of length. Like, focus in on the long kills. I thought you were going to say, be... you better be careful or you're going to cook the turkey and it'll be burnt. No. <laughs> That's not what I was But like, say. you know, focus in on the long kills. And just kind <clears> Sorry, of everyone else got my turkey short. analogy, right? It wasn't just me. I did. No, I did. Okay. And that's exactly what I thought was the problem here. Like, it was just that. Like, if you're going to cook this fast, turn it down a bit. Um, I think I'll probably six, maybe. There's, if it's a thing that they bring out Terrifier 3 and, like, everything that they've been doing for this second film, there's, like, questions that are answered and there's an overreaching thing and it all makes sense. Cool. I might be able to, I'll be able to look back and probably give this a higher rating. I but for there, right I now, there, there is going to be because there, there's been a definitive... Well, supernatural been, track that they've been going oh, on. Seven, but, I don't. Well, look for for right now. You okay? there, it's... You all right? Here I am. Uh, uh, you, because you're the one that screamed. Oh shit! At the camera, really. Oh, fast. cat. Sorry. Oh, right, okay. Wait, just was like a right there. 
but it, it's just there's a lot of questions that don't get answers and for me i've just like i said if it turns out that these questions get answered in the third film cool as it is there's a lot of stuff that's left hanging in the air and you're still left pondering the question of why what is art exactly why does he do what he does what's and right. and we're, we're shown that he's he's not he, he's like a michael myers as in well by the fact that it's never been put across but, that he was a human but, but this, he, he right. can take shots to the head and replace whatever, body parts and but whatever about that i mean if you look at at michael jason and and freddie they all have a motivation behind what they do yeah. freddie feeds on fear he needs nightmare he needs the kids of elm shoot to fear to fear him so that he's corporeal jason is a vengeance demon basically going after all the camp counselors mike myers is a serial killer with a thing for babysitters most notably laurie strode unless and, you go into the new storyline where he's just like art the clown he just likes murdering he doesn't have an affiliation well, to try and go after laurie strode and like Kegs just said, I think he's just he's just crazed and enjoys the thrill of killing. And like, but even if you look at it, that's thing, kind of his but, gig. But hang on, that that's the thing for he's All Hallows Eve and for Terrifier, and it's just the fact that all of a sudden he he centers in on these two for the second movie. And yeah, that, that's what comes into the whole dad storyline that they're trying to bring up in there. Like, but, yeah, and that's my point. If it's all tied together for a third movie, then well, could, I don't see how it couldn't. Like, if you if you look at the dream sequence, I'm not going to get into the ins and outs of the dream sequence. But if you look at the dream sequence and then look at all the kind of unwritten subtext that they kind of keep associating in relation to the father, do you not see a distinct storyline track that they seem to be trying to take I there? I see it. I see it. But like, is I do see where there's questionable holes that don't necessarily solidify. This is the direction we're going. Like, they still kind of leave it up to why 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 kind of thing there you there is definitely a supernatural element to him <laughs> because at the end of terrifier one when he's brought into the morgue and the whole the lights start going there's some there is some form of yeah oh yeah supernatural part to him Phones also ringing, at the beginning radio. of this film you know where he's kind of the the, the more doctors crawling there's some shit going on in the room with it's like even lights and stuff that you don't to be honest, I actually can see an explanation for the, the, the little girl and that explanation being if if it's a thing that um, much like with Freddy the more people, the more notoriety that he has, the more presence he has then it's possible that that leaches on so there could be others like Art and the more this happens, the more this spreads the more they are able to, to come no, through as I, well Honestly, I think the dad killed the little girl the dad had a fucking mental breakdown and then somewhere along the way the dad's drawings and a load of narcotics made something come into the world or made him turn into something. That could be cool. Yeah. That that's yeah, that's where just, I'm at with it. I think that I think the dad is very you know, much like if they hit three like I'm with Giz, if they hit three and they're all they're like, hey, by the way, Terrifier two, answer, answer. Oh, well fuck yeah, yeah. all right, cool. Look at like, look at the costume she's wearing and look at the sword and all the association of how they end up defeating Art the Clown. It's, right. It seems very like, you know, if you can create something, you can destroy something. Yeah. That's why it's all in one beautifully illustrated little picture book. Yeah, there, there is, there's the connection to it. It's just maybe not fully said what the, the full connection is with the dad but definitely there's something with the dad that is either like you said created art the clown or he's and I, and I think that's where my problem is like they hint at and they show but for whatever reason I'm just not getting the solidification that you guys do there's just a couple holes that make me still like I'm I get dad this I get art this but it's still not like I don't know like it's just not somebody like I don't want to sound stupid, but it just there's like a, still a few holes left in the overall. I played the trailer, didn't I? Yeah, for Terrifier too. Okay, good. <laughs> but I still think uh, David killed it yet again as the character of Art. I still think they definitely blew it out of the fucking ballpark for um, the special effects, the kills, what have you. It's like some of them are fucking brutal. <laughs> And the yeah. the biggest thing is, like I touched on it a little bit ago with the whole theater thing. It's this movie, regardless. I mean, it 
movies like this don't happen very often that are getting Fuck the man. kind of recognition because you like it was saying with the fact that it didn't it's an unrated film that hit theaters that does not happen well and how here, many times it has wouldn't it gotten extended already like okay. twice hang on just uh, just you said that the you first time you saw terrifier was because you heard that it was the basically the killer clown movie that's up on netflix yeah well that's what people were saying yeah, yeah. but th the point is did that go straight to Netflix, or did the first one get a theatrical release? No, it was straight to streaming. No, it didn't. Straight yeah, to it was straight to streaming. And they wouldn't have it had... It wasn't straight to Netflix, it was straight to streaming. But but even still, they wouldn't have had to get it rated before that happened, would they? No, Netflix has their own Most rating system, no. I think. Yeah, so right. I can see how, based on the performance of the last one on this platform over here, they might be but willing to kind of Netflix go... Netflix being a streaming platform hard. where... Netflix being a streaming platform where stuff doesn't go out live would implement it into a weird genre where, or not a weird genre, but into a weird gray area when it comes to watershed and rating systems where it's kind of down to discretion of the person and or yeah. the right. parents in the house because and there is no live channel where we have a watershed that we can do. The point is, though, Jimmy it, wants it to put on Terrifier at 9 o'clock in the morning. It's up to you to stop little Jimmy putting it on. But it's still harder here, anyways. Like Buzz was saying, to not have a rating for a film. Oh yeah, that, that's why I'm saying that. Like the the viewership. I, I would say of it's even first harder movie. over here. Like the British ratings is were uh, the, the Irish. Dude, don't oh, even okay. fucking start, man. But well, they're, but, they're, they're an odd beast. The the British rating board or whatever you want to call them. Where I don't even I don't think we're under them anymore. Well, we're I not. But like at at a time, they were an odd beast. Where one movie. The, the movies that they gave the ratings to and the movies that they left unrated, you'd be kind of like, what the fuck? Where's the, where the thought process? <laughs> oh, okay. My, my original point was going to be that the, the viewership of the first movie on Netflix and on other streaming platforms would have acted as a litmus test in regards to the performance for the second one. So it probably would have allowed for them to take that risk for by, okay, it's not rated. We know what the first one was like. We've got a fair idea what the second one's going to be like, and hopefully these are the numbers. Well, I am correct in saying that it's a limited theater run, right? It's not. It like, was, yeah. Yeah, but it's then it started it, getting extended. Yeah, it's. It was originally supposed are, are to they, have the sorry, one. Sorry to interrupt. Are they extending it time-wise, as in it'll stay in the cinema longer, or are they trying to extend it yes. to more cinemas? No, they're also Both. picking up. Yeah. The the it was supposed to have a one week, actually just a weekend. A one weekend theatrical release of with only a, a two to three hundred theaters. Right, like and low. now because of how big it was doing or how good it was doing, they've extended I don't think it you say to two to three hundred theaters is super low. There's probably two to three hundred theaters in all of in Ireland. Ireland. Okay, but yeah. over here, like I mean, fifty states. Two to three hundred state. Yeah, it could be just one state, but like, um. You can fit Ireland yeah. into one of their states. Yeah. It, was, their it was doing. Oh, okay. It was doing. Are you, so te well like Tex that... Texas is notably three or four yeah. times the size of my entire Ireland. country, oh, including the yeah, top bit that England that says was... they own. That, the whole well, country, it, it, we it depends on the day. On the day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was doing so well that they kept extending it. The theaters did. Not the the theaters were like, holy shit, people are coming out. Because that's the thing. It's like the theaters have to to, to allow the movies to, to come in. Mm. Right. So with its success, like, okay, we'll do another week, another week, another weekend. So it started off with two or three hundred theaters. They're doing, I don't know if it's going to be the last run, probably, but they're doing one more weekend of it leading up to Halloween, um, where it's going to be up to fifteen hundred theaters now. So it has the increase in time it's being in theaters, and now it's increased in theaters that are showing it now because everybody was like, "What the fuck's up with this movie that's making people vomit?" And, and constantly, that you know, itself, top the box office every week. Right, like that in itself is free advertising. And you're like, "Holy shit! What what's making people throw up?" Five hundred thousand more people came. Rushing. And then it's a it's a screenbox uh, original film they're the ones that have the distribution rights for streaming and it was, they were just going to do like the one weekend and then as soon as that was done it was going to hit screenbox like the next weekend and then start screaming streaming from there now with it being done so well that it can't put can push back but now it's been officially announced okay. that it's hitting streambox screenbox, screenbox Joe, on Joseph halloween is saying, day 
the director wants to do up to Terrifier 4, making the fourth a prequel, explaining where Art came from and his motivations. And you know what? I've... If that's the case, I'm on board for no, it. I haven't heard like... that, though. I've heard, I've heard no, him. No, I've Either heard him say at least three. He he doesn't want it to be become one of those franchises that just keeps making movies and have anything watered down. Well, you see, the thing is, I think the, the weird thing with there being him being just kind of like a shark where he just likes floating around his territory and murdering fuckers you're not going to fall folly un unless you decide to fall no. folly of say the Halloween thing where right. you know we had Halloween 1 or 2 then we had 3 where it didn't have Michael Myers people didn't get it then we rewrote everything and we fucking redid the fucking back yeah. history I'm going to need you to ignore Halloween 3 now that never happened only Halloween 1 and 2 happened we do 4 and 5 actually come to think of it if you could ignore 3, 4 and 5 and we're just going to pick straight up from Halloween 6 if that's okay uh, okay oh, yeah. that did okay over... we're, uh, you know what Halloween 6 is kind of in its own world that's where that one lives if that's okay we're if, going to get on to Halloween 7 if... that's got a Buster Rhymes in it I mean you're going to have to put that in its own fucking universe <laughs> you know I don't think you, I, I don't think because of the way Art the Clown is designed that if, if you just keep it crazy murdering clown likes murdering murdering people crazily yeah but that well, also with him, that case is with it all that, being down to Damien, it's going to be less cooks. and uh, Yes. Because well, okay, as it gets passed gonna down argument. to each director, right. they're going to add their own thing to it. Fucking Dominic Odin Gerard, you motherfucker, Halloween 5. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what about, uh, what about, what about um, fucking Friday the 13th 2? Or 3? Which, well, they... which is the one where the, the gay one... <laughs> Three, isn't it? You're talking about Nightmare on Elm Street? No, sorry, Nightmare, Nightmare, what did I say? Friday yeah. the 13th. Sorry, two. Nightmare on Elm Street. That was, that was two. Two, yeah. Scream two, Queens, the Two literally happened because they couldn't get fucking um, Wes Craven back. The guy that they hired in hated Nightmare on Elm Street. Like, yeah. notably and very verbally said, thought the first movie wasn't that great. I'm going to take it this direction. Uh, then Hater, had to, on Buzz a documentary, did. sit down and admit going, didn't realize how gay the subtext was until I saw it on the cinema screen. And we're <laughs> like, oh, no. Um, that's not the... Hey, hey Hater, uh, me and Buzz did 13 Ghosts original versus remake, but the four of us have not done 13 Ghosts. Which one are you on about, Hater? 13 Ghosts. The original or the remake, Hater? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but no, while he's so answering like, that... So if, like, if you want the four of us to review like, the fucking remake, I'm down. Anything with a bit of Matthew Lillard oh, in it, yeah. salt. Love that man. But no, I'm with Buzz on that. Like, that's the downfall. If you start hiring different directors and writers, you're going to have a Halloween or Friday the 13th. Everybody wants Which to is put what two sets in. The remake. We can put the remake to... in. We'll find a way of getting the remake with the four which of us. She's, which oh, she's trying okay. to avoid, because I was just watching an interview today, Sam, when they were trying to get the distribution oh. rights for the second film, that some one company was going to give them, like, $750,000 to make it, but they were going to... They wanted to take ownership of art and they wanted to do this and that. He said no. So they went the crowdfunding way and they had like, they, they had like a majority of, or pretty much all this film was done because of crowdfunding. Until you're at, they had, until like, you're at a stage with art where you're like, um, fucking, what's the name of your man that made a uh, Star Wars? George Lucas. George Lucas. Yeah. Lucas. On, on, until right. you get art merchandisable like George Lucas yeah. level where you could be like, you know what? You you could take the movie franchise. I'll just take the 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 merch the rights. Merchandise that's rights. okay. Yeah. No, it definitely. Yeah, well, like, and, it, and the difference at that time though was because in the seventies, <laughs> merch rights and stuff weren't really. Uh, oh yeah, he he was a so, fucking I'm... genius. <laughs> he was a fucking genius to yeah. do that move. Yeah. So smart. So we're going to pay you to stay and direct all the movies the way that you want to direct them. <laughs> but you just get to keep the merch rights. Hey Bree, welcome in. How are you? I think I'm kind of livening up a little bit. Granted, it's taken you are. two hours. Your coffee break has helped. I'm still sore, but I've, the headache's kind of gone a little bit. So Maybe we're just coughing. But I mean, like, you're looking at Terrifier 2 with a box office of 6.3 million. I mean, like, holy yeah. shit. Which, which doesn't seem a lot. Like, holy shit. No. I've, I've seen people, well, I'm not, I'm not going to knock it. I, it's I, that's the thing that pisses me off is I that somebody did an article from some like respectable news article or whatever. Uh, uh, where they're oh, like, he's right to, he's right to. Where, where they're like, um, 
Ter- uh, uh, box office <laughs> flop Terrifier 2 only brings in $1.5 million this week. On. It's like, do you know how much that movie, like, a quarter of a million? How much was. Yeah. You know, like, 250K is the what they put into that. $1.5 million on a yeah. week, one weekend? That's not You a have flop, literally made over in, 100% profit. And right. in ridiculously limited fucking cinemas as yeah, well like as it, ha- it hasn't gone to, not, it yeah. hasn't gone to st- well it's it's on screen box monday s- monday no, not yet monday yeah. 31st okay it's budget <laughs> for terrifier 2 two hundred and fifty thousand. Ima- yeah. imagine the on was... version where there's even more gore. right that dvd selling right uh, the funny thing is there's not there, there's not, movie. he said there's nothing really they didn't cut there's nothing that was cut Everything's well, in I'm that sure movie. They, they can make up some scenes and stick it on the fucking DVD <laughs> sure, features. Yeah. For two and a half I'm hours. Sure there's little things like for, forever said, from now on, Terrifier Two will be the movie that when I have someone shows up at my house and gives out about horror movies being crap, I'm going to put on Terrifier Two and then I'm going to just leave the room. But no, like, I, I honestly and then didn't just feel wait for the two hours. I'm just going to wait. I, 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 I did near the end. I did. And I, I like that's there, the there was a couple Carter, of kills. Come on coming up towards the, the main outro section of the movie and a couple of kills in the one or two of the kills in the middle section where I found myself oil entertained watching them being like do we really need this in here do you know what I mean and yeah. I'd check the time and I'd be like okay we're at an hour we could be at an hour we could be at an hour or we could be at and you know whatever for me I'm like dude this motherfucker's dead you're just beating a dead horse in one or two scenes I was like uh, well that I, that's kind of here. I think that's kind of a bit of background story into Art the Clown that it, it's it's all about the violence. Do you know what I mean? It's not just about right. the kill. It's about... The, it's the same way that Michael Myers started out in Halloween 1. Do you know what? He didn't just kill people. He posed them and he presented them. them. No, no, no. Not just murderized, right. but like say... Like, look at the, the couple that he killed up in the bedroom. Do you know what I mean? He nailed your man to the wall so that he was there when you walked in the house, mounted like a goddamn hunting trip trophy. Yeah. You go up to the bedroom and it's got Peter's- the dead chick with the fucking ghost thing on in the wardrobe you know he turns everything into his kind of little playhouse so same with Arthur Clown that it's not just about killing the fucking guy it's about you know you gotta pose him pretty and make sure that when people walk into the room they're gonna absolutely crap themselves upon seeing what they walk into now I will say like 6.3 there's no such thing as shameless score sorry that's a myth (laughs) I do say that 6.3 is gonna be hard to beat because like I said a lot of that was advertising that you didn't have to pay for you have a motherfucker throw up in the uh, theater. That's free press right there. So that's going to be harder to do with every movie thereafter, if that makes sense. Yeah, but you get free and... advertising off Netflix anyway. L- look at that fucking... What was that? <coughs> oh, what was that movie? That supposedly the scariest movie ever. Only 10% of Netflix oh. viewers could watch it. The Spanish thing. It was the no, no, no. It was a Spanish... Oh, the what? It was some Spanish oh, movie. Bird Box? No, no, no. Not Bird no, Box, because no, notably not famous. a Spanish movie. Uh, well, I was thinking of Was it the Jewish one? No, no. Jewish. No, not Jewish. Jewish. Okay. No, it, it, there was like a girl that they did a Ouija board. And crazy shit happened. Um. Anyway, that, that movie sucked. The reason only 10% of people finished the movie is because it was a crap movie. Do you know what I mean? But Netflix yeah. spun it. I watched that movie because I... Veronica, that's the heap of shit. Yeah, Veronica, that's the one. Veronica, there you go. Veronica. Veronica. And then uh, also... I can tell you, I didn't finish the movie, not because I was scared. The other thing is that, like, uh, the the press... The press of, you know, the throwing up and fainting and shit, that does help, but also, if you look at the reviews... People are liking it. Like... Oh, yeah. it, and it's not just audio, it, critics. It's one. It's both of them are both at around eighty eight percent. It's um, well, to, to put my critic hat on. Now that my brain is actually working, uh, yet again, apologies <laughs> that it took two hours of a podcast to get my brain functioning. <laughs> but like, it's creatively refreshing. Do you know the the way that the kills yeah. are displayed, the the behavior of the character? Do you know like? It, it, Michael Myers and Jason work because they're these quiet, silent, imposing killers that just float around the general ether of the area that you live in, popping up and murdering people. Freddy Krueger was on the opposite end of the spectrum where he's wisecracking sheer evil enjoyment out of what he was doing to these teenagers 
was part of the intoxication in what made Freddie so interesting and the fact that because he was able to vocalize things he was also able to kind of stay very relevant within pop culture at the time art the clown is a very rare middle ground between both of these style of um slasher killer do you know what i mean he's very animated he doesn't need words he can tell a whole story with just his face and his actions you yeah. know there's that. Then the gore is just refreshing to see someone go, I want a fucking movie to be covered blood-filled. And then it's shot really well. And if you're into your Grindhouse movies, the, the, the attention to detail on giving it that Grindhouse feel and look yeah. without it being up the road of, you know, um, Grindhouse, you know, the, the, the dual movie with Tarantino and Rodriguez where they went to town on it and they had, you know, the burnt film and they had the... Mm you know, ad breaks coming in and random film reels missing and stuff like that. But like visually and aesthetically and even the way the story goes, like a lot of those fucking like Giz and I are going to be covering a load of movies for Halloween tomorrow um, for Satanic Sundays over on um, American Horrors. Check it out this Sunday on American Horrors, Satanic Sundays. But um, they like a lot of those witch and demon movies and stuff from that grindhouse here in the 60s and the 70s there wasn't the greatest amount of plot there was there were some evil witches were doing some evil witch shit and then it was how can we get the girls baps out of their fucking dresses as quick as possible and get some blood on them and get some people goddamn murdered do you know what I mean yeah and they managed to kind of keep that aesthetic very well in this while managing to on on you know there's there's a lot of subtext backstory there that I think you need to go looking into that it like there's there's a relatively intricate plot in the movie if you go looking for it but that's not what the movie's about. The movie's not about the intricate plot. The movie's about this psycho mime murdering people. I, don't know, I just, I really think it's refreshing that it's fine. Like a lot of the movies that are being talked about, right now, I know we're getting close to Halloween. So a lot of people are in that, you know, mood, but I mean, horror is getting a really big jolt like right now. And that's not and just it's right so now. Awesome. No, but it's you so look, awesome to see. Although in saying that look, Horror News Tuesdays would not lead you to believe that. Well, it's because all the stuff that's out now is stuff that we talked about before because they were being announced in the past. There's nothing really coming out now. Everything's out. So there's nothing really new being reported because everything's out now. But um, you you look at stuff like Black Phone. You look Beautiful. at a lot of the stuff. Great movie. Out. Good choice. It's horror's been just definitely not when I say it's having a resurgence. But I mean, you just look at a lot of the films that have been like, you look at Malignant, you look at X, you look at Pearl, all these Sorry. movies that have been coming out within the last year or so that have seemed to be getting more buzz than the, no pun intended, um, the the typical movies that normally get released. Oh, yeah. you hear, you're hearing more about those movies over <laughs> your, your basic movie that's been coming out over the last year. Terrifier is destroying at the box office. Obviously, Halloween ends even though it's a pile of shit, still made a lot of shit of money because it's Halloween. Um, just a bunch of movies that have been coming out within the last year or so that seem to be... And they're, and they're different. Like I said, Black Phone was different, kind of. Malignant was different. You know, X, you know, all these movies are all different types of horror movies too, where it's not just one specific yeah. subgenre or something right. like that. There's there's a, a lot of different, different genre horror movies that have been coming out last year that if you're not a slasher fan you might like this movie if you're not a supernatural fan you might like this there's a lot that's been coming out the last couple of years that um it's, for me it's cool it's to see horror take it's it's cool for me to see horror up there with like you know what was it for the longest time the fast and furious franchise was always talked about always in the theater so it's awesome to see horror get up to like a level that everybody's talking about yeah the jack reacher fucking cruise film is ass because they hired a midget to play a guy who's notably supposed to be like nearly seven foot tall that scene okay, where see, he's supposed to I have killed read, the girl was just fucking stupid i never read any of the Reacher, stupid. but i've heard a lot of people complain about his uh uh choice for a new the, stephen the king cruise horror choice. in the discord i will actually go against my rules oh hello what's going on oh yeah it's like horror was always the red-headed stepchild of the yeah like everybody of movies on it. and now right. everybody's all horror's cool guys 
oh my god, I'm too scared to see this fail, but it might make me throw up. Fuck yes. Like, that's awesome. Where'd you put that poster bill, Gen uh, General Chad? Chil <laughs> I would love that. <clears throat> I wish that movie, Stephen King's Children of the Cornholio. <laughs> I would love that movie. Yes, no. Like, I got a psychic to kill people, Beavis. <laughs> <laughs> And because of the whole cruise movie, I kind of been putting off Reacher, even though I like the dude that uh, oh fuck, a boy from Blue Mountain State, and he. I love him. Man, the fucking oil chain. I. But, um. So it's actually, funnily enough, it's actually Ger Hanley. I spoke to him years ago about Jack Reacher. I can't remember how the conversation went, but he's a big fan of the books, and he suggested I get into. Him. Not gonna lie, read the first book and couldn't really get into the character. I just. So as a result, that's the only reason I haven't tried the series. Because, oh man, didn't Michael B. Jordan also do a version of that, or was that somebody else super spot? What? No, I think there's just been Tom Cruise's... I read somewhere that Tom Cruise demanded to play the role. I'd hand him 500 grand and go jump out of a plane. <laughs> At which point, you what, go, if, if you okay, fuck as off long from as you the set right now, I will literally give you half a million to just fly as high as you want to fly and fuck yourself out of that plane. That's not an insult. He'll probably Alan, enjoy it. Alan Richardson. That's who I was thinking of. Um, I'm dig like I dig him as a as an actor and shit. And uh, so I was kind of curious when I found out he was doing the show. Anywho, will we uh, <laughs> will we put a pin in Terrifier? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Terrifier. Go see Terrifier too if you like your gore. If you are um, inclined towards having a slightly more upsettable tummy, go in with um, a very large warning symbol sent to you by the gore cast. They, I guess they not to cut you off real quick, but I guess they're starting to put that in the beginning of the movie now, saying a warning. This movie contains such and such. I would imagine so. It's because I think with all the yeah. people... Now, I will joking. say, out of all the murders that happened in there, nothing shocked me to the level of your the bifurcation from number one. Yeah. I guess he said that one... I don't know if you wanted, like, the, the bedroom murder of... That's pretty. That that's one, pretty graphic. That's oh, their yeah. kind of. That is a rough watch. One. If if you just can, have said, any well, value for your fellow human being, he that said is a for rough that watch. one. Because I guess he said for a lot of the murders, he comes up with the ideas from them from reading actual like real life murders that happen. I guess the the saw thing from the first Terrifier is like an old medieval torture thing that yeah. they used to do. Bifurcation. Yeah. The yeah. Oh wow. The okay. One from the bedroom was he saw a book from Jack the Ripper and one of the victims that was completely <sighs> torn to skin. And he's like, hmm, I wonder how she got that way. And that's where we get the scene. I liked how there's a consistency with some of the weapons he uses as well. Like his, his love of using oh, that, that homemade flail. I was going to say, yeah. I love the flail. Like that's my go-to with him. That's such a fucked up weapon. Right, that's it on Terrifier 7.5 and um, what did we have? 7.5 and we had 8 and a 7 yeah. I believe. Um, so go check it out. Check them all out. Check them all out. They're very, very good. They're very, very good. Right, now, as per usual, Buzz has scoured through the internet to find me some of the loneliest people on the dating world. Or maybe yes, they're not lonely. Yeah. Some of the weirdest people from the dating world. Yeah, that probably makes more sense. Um, some of the Probably both in the same. None of you are Facebook. <laughs> oh, nay. There we go. Nope, you're not Facebook. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Come on, Facebook. Facebook.com. Let's go right back to the old. Any minute. There we go. www.facebook.com forward slash. <sighs> Any minute now, this will load up. Come on, Facebook. Loaded, loaded, loaded. Yeah. 
So, yeah. uh, Zuckerberg, your website would function way more if you weren't data mining all of my info. <laughs> Live. I, I like the laugh you did there. Oh, dear. Well, this is a good one to start with coming into Halloween. We're, <laughs> yeah, we're starting strong. We're starting strong. Where is window capture, isn't it? Sounds about right. There we go. We're starting strong. Bill. This is Bill. He's 33. Bill's 90, mm. 91 miles away. I like curvy girls. I have a dog. Her name is Precious. She's my world. My hobbies include midnight strolls, collecting insects. Kind of nerdy, but it's what I'm into. Making my own clothing and dancing when nobody's looking. Dry skin is a deal breaker. I love bath and body works for the sole reason that their lotion comes in a basket. I'd date me. <laughs> I'd date me so hard. Well done, Bill. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Are you, are you swiping right? Is I, I'll mean, swipe or? right on Bill. Bill's impressed me. <laughs> Yay. How are we going on, uh, Bill? Big fan of buffalo <laughs> wings. Ooh, I like wings. Mm. I don't know. Dry skin, uh, dry skin to be a problem for me as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if I do buy lotion on the rare occasions that I do, I would like them to come in a basket. You want them organized, yeah. It puts the lotion on the skin. Or else it gets or... the hose again. It gets <laughs> the hose. You ever heard that song? I just did. You sang it. No, no, no. That's it. That's it. There's a literal song, but uh, the uh, oh. the Greenskeepers, no. I think, are the name of the band. Hmm. Okay. No, look look up. I'll, I'll send it to you after the show. It's if you ever want to weird out a house party, <laughs> really quick, put that on. This is catchy, but I also believe it's uh, endorsing serial killers. Hmm. This is Peter. Peter's what is he about the songs too. Uh, Peter's three miles away. And Peter, uh, I work out. Just kidding. I take naps. I found an app that replaces people's faces with Nicolas Cage. And honestly, I'm not really sure what else to do in my life. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Once you have that ability, I mean, yeah, that's... Life's just... Uh, your life's just two different things now. Um, once you come across yeah. something like that, it's like life before I found this app and life after I found this app. Um, all right, so that's Peter. We're going to go... Looks like the Leps win on Bill. They, yeah, uh, Lep. everybody's. I, I think you should give the guy a chance. You're going to have fantastic skin. Uh, and a dog. If you're not a dog, people, then maybe not. You got a little dog. Called Precious. Right. Called Precious. Um, I'm go I, I don't get to vote because I'm the one that created the thing, but I'm going to swipe right on Peter, mostly because I want to find out where he got that app. Yeah, well, then I'm going to immediately dump him after that, after I find out. I don't know. We could have a lot of fun. <laughs> there could be a really kinky photo thread going on where it's just a load of dick pics, but with Nicolas Cage's face. Uh, what kind of bizarre kinks are you into? Never mind, I don't want to know. Nicolas Cage kinks. Tristan. Is that a kink? I thought that's just an, uh, everybody. Uh, yeah. I was so close to finding that Nicolas Cage t-shirt, except I found 50 quid to be over expensive for a t-shirt. <laughs> That you're buying the face. I mean, like you know. But fun fact: I bought lotion of part uh, as part of a bath set. It didn't come in a basket, but it came in a tiny bath. Hmm. Send it back. Okay, that kind of sounds fun. No, no. Send it back. I kind of no, no. Lotion. Like a tiny bath. You, like that's kind of cool. Lotion goes in the basket, or it goes nowhere. Okay, that's it. I'm just saying. Or it gets the hose again. No, that's if you don't put the lotion on the skin. Oh yeah, that is right. That's but it's a tiny bath. Like that's super like cute. You can't take a bath in it, so what's the point? The only thing you can do is wash your lotion in it, thus defeating the purpose of lotion. <laughs> I mean, well, you like, I can give my lotion a bath. I mean, Jersey. technically, I can see a lot of things being done in a tiny bath, but that's I. It's cute. It's a tiny bath. Word. Definitely gonna move on from that one because I don't. I'm I don't know what saying, he sees doing in the tiny. Well, bath. as long as you put the lotion in the basket, that's fine. I don't have a problem after that. It's just, you know, they really should, you know, you should write a strongly worded email to that company and be like, you are aware that it goes in the basket. Like, you could make a bathtub it, shaped basket. Right. No, I don't oh, know, yeah. man. You could, you could weave a bathtub shaped basket. I'm sure that's not hard to do. Uh, I don't know. I've never weaved shit, so I don't know how hard it is. It sounds complicated. Okay. It Mary, does. Mary's got some fucking tiny writing. I'll tell you that straight <laughs> up. Okay. Mary. 
25, uh, we don't get a general. 86% of people are swiping right on Mary, by the way. Just let Ooh. you know. So. Most people that know me would say I'm fun-loving, funny, passionate, and horribly addicted to my guacamole. Seriously, I'll put avocado on anything. That said, I'll also share it with you if you're nice. I'll also share it with you if you're nice. Weekends are for binging BoJack Horseman reruns, improv, and picnics in the park. Mimosas, anyone? That's just a normal dating profile. Yeah. Well, Did you see BoJack Horseman and forget it was a TV show until I... I bet. <laughs> I knew, no, I knew, I knew what Bojack Horseman was, and I was like, oh, people might find yeah. that funny. I won't lie to you, Mary, that sounds like a bit of fun. I'll, I'll, yeah. we'll, we'll swipe right on Mary. I'm not a big avocado fan, but I mean, that's okay. She can have it. Okay. I'm not, I'm the, not the biggest avocado fan just... either, although I do like a lot of Mexican food, and guacamole is kind of an essential compo component of... No, it is not. Oh, green, goopy, nope. Eh, I, I won't lie to you, um, if... Goopy is the word you're using. I think your guacamole might be gone off. I I Cream, use goopy thick, for luscious all... and creamy. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Every bit of guacamole I've ever seen, green, goopy. I, I just fuck that, dude. You need to check the temperature on whoever's house you're in and make sure that the fridge isn't running at an under temperature because it sounds like your guacamole's gone off to me. House, restaurant, just... Uh... Carter well, almost no, terrified or two vomited after you mentioned yeah, guacamole. Exactly. It is baby food, yeah. But sometimes I like to be a little baby and not have to chew. <laughs> so do I. She's not green goopy. Like I just give me He is wearing pictures. a onesie. I'm all for the peach. <laughs> <laughs> <right? laughs> I was so sick earlier. Thank I you. felt so sick earlier. Although now I'm wondering was it just I don't know what to, well, lady, a coffee and two paracetamol really changed the vibe for me um, out of nowhere. <laughs> Game changer, taking medication. I normally don't do that, but fucking hell. Yeah. I can see what everyone's going on about the now. I'm pain, so I must be good. <laughs> <sighs> I'm actually wondering, did the dog just walk all over me while I was asleep and I just didn't notice? <laughs> Could be. I feel like someone's been walking all over me all night. That's because someone has a room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bill, I love the fact that it comes in a pouch now. Why? Because it's like you just don't even need a fucking spoon, bro. Like it's a pouch. <laughs> just, like, that must be literally, American invention. It's like, no, it's like yo It's Bill yogurt. talking about like, it. You just, it's gogurt. Like you just grab a bitch and go. Like it's cool. Right, no, so hang, on. hang on, right? There's so, still those so so baby food. food. Guacamole to you is asinine and an absolutely oh, weird okay. thing to put on See, anything. I was wondering if you're going to go there. Look, dude, I don't eat the baby food that's like turkey, mango, mashed potatoes. I go like straight shit. Like if it's like baby food, peaches. Pouchable. If it's like baby he's, food, he's, fucking He's going apple. Robocop Pouchable. on us over here. No, like, right. Like I'm lazy. I'm not going to lie. Like if I can drink my food and my drinks, I'm living the fucking high life. I just love it. I can Fuck yeah, dude. But when it gets into like that whole like at Thanksgiving meal on the couch, inside that's out. fucked Baby up. food in my mouth now. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, uh, dude, I'm with Bill. Like, I'm just gonna fucking snackable. I'm gonna fucking snackable while I shop. Like, I don't see a fucking downside to it. Anyway, we need a pair of Living the Vita Loco for Carter and the baby food. Don't <laughs> don't put the idea in my head. There's a visual. Carter's just like rolling down the fucking aisle. Oh, the whole music video is gonna happen. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> wow, you seem happy you're checking out. Yeah, I had a snack three hours down. I'm good. Carter living Lamita Loca. Fuck right, dude. It takes so little to live that life. I'm happy. Yeah, but it's cool. Hickage. Vanilla yogurt with chocolate <laughs> grains in it is called yogurt. That's fine. <laughs> chocolate. Turkey and mash and some other stuff <laughs> blended yeah, up into stuff a jar. It shouldn't be combined. It. Combined. It. See? Combined. Okay. okay. Some words, right? And like, that's the thing. I don't like my food touching. So I'm not going to eat like a turkey and like fucking mashed potatoes, baby food. That's fucked up. If someone sponsored the MREs, I'll eat pretty much anything on stream, to be honest. I have no, <laughs> no. Self I have no self respect whatsoever. No. I will. I don't care. I'd have been like Dave. I would have been like Dave Chappelle on Fear Factor when he was playing the fucking. The crackhead. Oh, I'm gonna fucking yeah. choke down these chicks, Joe Rogan. Don't you worry. 
<laughs> yeah, no. That whole like my food touching, that like that goes over the baby food. I will not have a this, this, and this in a jar. Fuck that. No one will. You shouldn't get st- not meant for hu- uh, adults. It's meant for babies who don't know how things t- uh, things taste. Tristan, Tristan's already swiping I... right for Leah. Who's Leah? Leah is on the screen right now. I don't know. I haven't got to read her yet because people are still talking about baby food. <laughs> Sorry, I think I just but, not. Tristan. Tristan still holding down for Holly. Do you? Right, Leah, twenty, twenty-two miles away. About Leah as a mortician. Awesome. I'm already in. As a mortician, I always tie together the shoelaces of the dead because if there were ever a zombie apocalypse, it would be hilarious. We're swiping right that's, on Leah, everybody. Oh, yeah. Yep. yep 100% that's right. right on Leah. Well done, Absolutely. you. Good job. Ah. Since, oh, Jesus. Did she, did she have to eat baby food for her to be a right, Carter? No, I just feel like that's kind of a dick thing to do. But, you know. Uh, and a smart thing to do. Mister, I don't have to be faster than zombies, just faster than everybody else. Doesn't want the zombies to have their fucking shoelaces tied together? Because I still just have to be faster than you, bro. I don't give a fuck what they're I won't lie to you, Carter. If you get downhill, you're going to be faster than most people. <laughs> Until the sudden stop. And here's the thing. I have no <laughs> issue about injecting a wheelchair and just crawling. I'm okay. Like, Why are you ejecting the wheelchair and crawling? Chair. Downhill, yes. But uphill? Fuck that, dude. Wheelchair is just overrated. Anyway, this that is sucks. this is uh, 100% on Leah, and rightly so. This is Dakisha. Takesha is from the School of Law, Christ University, 17 kilometers away. Uh, mm. I'm on Tinder to make friends the same way I'm on Pornhub to see the plumber repair the sink. So if I'm correct in saying well, Takesha's looking for dick, sold. is that what I'm picking up? That's right. I feel like that's just... <laughs> well, it's not wrong. Very I mean, truthful, right? Yeah. Like... Sometimes it's just nice to know what you're getting into. Yeah. Oh, we landed 50-50 on Takesha. You get it. <laughs> Hmm. We landed 50-50 on Takesha. Hmm. Oh my. wonder why people said no. Johnny! <laughs> this is a Always Sunny in Philadelphia reference. Do you know how I, sadly I know? Because I saw the word milk steak as I looked to the left. Oh, I I saw it up there. I'm like, I don't know what that is. But That's Charlie's favorite dish, is milk steak. It's where you boil a steak in milk. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, it is that's disgusting. Cool. Charlie eats lots of hmm. weird shit. Never saw him eat baby food, show. though. Or maybe he did, actually. I don't know. Did he Obviously bite her finger? All right. They're... Charlie. Favorite food? Milk steak. You should know what that means. I do. Uh, favorite hobby? Magnets. Just magnets. And likes ghouls and funny little green ghouls. I mean, no, it's straightforward. Yep. Oh. We got four votes in. You got 10 seconds to get your votes in, guys. I'm sorry. The milk steak lost me. <laughs> yeah, but he also sings the song Nightman, and that's great. Yeah. Defender no, of no, the no, day, no, no. man. Ah, champion of the sun. Kegs, magnets is not a He knows hobby, karate sorry. and brings Bill, friends to everyone. <laughs> Tristan. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> ah, Defender magnets of the night, hobby. man. Ah. You could, you could collect magnets. Champion of the sun. That's a hobby. Sun, 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 oh, that's sun. day right, Bill. <laughs> He teaches karate and brings friendship to everyone. She's uh, fucked. She's the song. Yeah, that's the song. That's the milk steak. That's fucked up, dude. Milk steak's fucking goddamn delicious. Mm-mm-mm. Have you tried it? No, I haven't. Although there's a guy called Babish, binging with Babish on YouTube, that he finds like weird shit that's shown up in TV shows and attempts to make it, but in a nice manner. The oh, milk steak, dude. The milk steak he made looked. Uh, well, he said it's like, Pass. as he said when he tested it, he was like, well, it's definitely edible. <laughs> Would I do this? And he, th- something he did to the milk, because he made it, ju- he does it two ways. He like makes it the way it's made in the show first, and then he takes his culinary flair and tries to fix it. And he was like, you know, it's a weird combination, but if you do the right stuff, the milk steak's not that bad. I tripped over a guy that like goes through old recipes and he made a cake out of potatoes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy on TikTok? Yeah. Yeah, he's great. He made ice <sighs> cream bread, I saw, during the week. And he was like, no it's shit. actually delicious. Yeah. Mm. He was like, huh. you don't need to put sugar or anything in with the milk. Because essentially, the milk that you're putting in already has sugar in it. So oh, essentially, it's essentially that. just ice cream, egg, and some flour. And you get bread. Huh. Okay. 
Cola boiled ham is amazing. Cola boiled ham is amazing. Yes, it is. Oh, that's just way too many things, kegs. That's not right. You could technically mix milk and steak if you were doing like mashed potatoes with shredded steak. Then, yeah, but then yeah. the milk is the potato, not the steak. If it wasn't and for the fact like, we get copyright flagged, I'd, near, I'd nearly steak. show you the. Oh yeah, we're on to where we were last week. There we go. Nope. There we go. Nope. There we go. Nope. There we go. Oh <laughs> fuck. Nope. There we go. Yep. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's just not sounding good. I killed everybody with the milk steak stuff, did I? I dude, that just don't sound right. I'm sorry. Hmm. And then fucking kegs with boiling it, steak and milk. I uh, that's just way too. Did you eat it if it was made into? What are you gonna do with the steak? Not fucking eat the whole meal. He's just gonna grin and drink a lot. Like I'm sorry. No, no, no. You have to make a milk steak. How are you making the milk steak without? I'm combining the milk and the steak. steak. No, you have to make a milk steak. You say have to. I say I have to. Hater is currently using the Gorecast satellites and they're aiming directly at your house right now and shit could get fucking crazy. Because I've I've got freaking lasers on the fucking... uh... Then you're lasering some poor bastard in a wheelchair that doesn't want to put a steak in the milk. I, I like how you're here? saying that in a Who's way a that bad guy? sounds like I'll care. <laughs> I was hoping. I'm not going to lie. I stick I, to my guns enough that if I say make the milk steak, I, all ramifications that happen after that are upon you. I, then I feel like you're the bad guy, not me. Because who am I to throw a good well, steak into Not to try and sound milk. like the Joker, like, but don't we all eventually live to see ourselves turn into the bad guy? We do. Yeah. So Mine's just happening live on air with satellites. Mm-hmm. Ah, <laughs> Hater, you're <go>. fucked now. <laughs> <laughs> I am, dude. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I my satellites have got freaking lasers. I realize when Sharks I play the triple card, it's still on. Well, I'm I, fucked. All I right, know well. how to make mashed potato with milk. I'm just saying, if you on, if if you don't, kids, it's like, please stop talking about food. <laughs> If you're making mash and then adding steak to it, it's not a fucking milk steak. It's steak and mash. Which, that, oddly enough, I'm on board for. Yeah, obviously, it's fucking mashed potato and steak. You can't go wrong with that. Yeah, right. Right. I just don't see how somebody's like, man, I've got some boiled milk here. Holy shit, now I know what to do with my steak. I I just don't understand that fucking mentality. I can't wait for the Gorecast cooking show to to be it. (laughs) There's been requests. I know. (sighs) Patreon. Like that right there. That could be a Patreon perk, yeah. I'll I'll do a cooking show, or you'll do it. Who else here can cook? I'll do it. I can can cook cook basic stuff. Like... I'm really like a baker, but I can't cook. Yeah, you can Ooh, bake. I think we had this discussion before. I remember you saying yeah. that. You can bake. I'm actually like, I'm a, a little baker. I'm I'm a little wizard in the kitchen. I like cooking. I might can cook. I mean I can as long as no one else That's pretty much what I can do. I can make a mean spaghetti. Gore's kitchen where yeah. the lads cook steaks on camera and I just scream abuse at them. <laughs> yeah. Sounds about okay right. now that Carter cook a steak. Oh, Johnny's not going to like this shit. Here what are you, go. fucking tick? <laughs> I, oh, my God. I, I just got an idea. It's like, Carter can do some baking. and He'd be like the Swedish chef. Okay. I'll, I'll just, eat an MRE. I'm down for eating an MRE. And then he, like, starts... Cater, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a secret, right? When it comes to... Oh, Will Gorkas... And I think Giz may have even been there to testify that this happened. I... The, Gorkas, will he eat this or will he eat that? Giz, to the best of my knowledge, yeah. I think he was at the house party, saw me suck buck fast out of a carpet. I'm, I I literally don't care. I'm sorry. Uh, I need I, a little bit more depth. I can see this being one. a double barrel question. A, what is buck fast? And B, why were you sucking it out of a carpet? Buck fast yeah, gets like, buck fast. Buck fast is a tonic wine invented which by the Benedictine monks in Scotland that which gets you absolutely time, wanked. Which once upon a time had LSD in it. Yes. Okay. But I honestly, no, the carpet never came into play. It was just what was this, the subject being sucked out of the carpet. I had no drink left and I knocked my buck fast. Also, 
Just so you know, I drink poutine. I will not drink book fast. It's fucking rank. Love really? It. Okay. Love it. Fucking horrible. It's a tonic wine. Technically, you're getting healthy while you're getting drunk. No, you're just... It's Joseph. <laughs> Joseph, you're killing me, dude. I have my own cooking show. It's called Hey Grandma. <laughs> that is awesome. Absent. I fucking love absence. <laughs> We've gone on a journey. New code word for we have sidetracked beyond all recognition. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, I couldn't find the words to the Clown Cafe song, that's why I didn't sing it. Uh, that's Sorry, I'm just saying fart stuff on here. Oh, of course, here, because that's a perfectly normal thing. Lie. To if Bill wants to host a dinner, I'm all for it because he throws out some awesome sounding recipes. <gasps> to the Clown Cafe. All right, well, that's going to be it from us, guys. Um, I will be back over on Twitch tomorrow night where uh, it's a whole goddamn Batole family reunion. The whole, all I think all nine of us are getting together and we're hitting the lands of Daisy. And then also, oh, actually, I, I need to pull up this mail here. Also, there's a Halloween Daisy event that if you're in the mood to see some crazy shit happen on stream, this is probably the one to check in for. Give me one moment. No. Someone sent me stuff. No, nope. where is it? No. Nope. Yeah, that's my couch fucker. Stop. <laughs> Where's the fucking... Don't. I have all my... So, uh, fucking Don't. somebody sent me shit. Maybe it was on Facebook. Don't. I swear to God, dude. <sighs> hmm. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. So there's a Halloween event coming up uh, this Sunday on a custom map that someone's after turning into an absolute horror show for people to try and survive in. Um advertisement goes as ah yeah shit's about to get real whoever wins the event is going to go down in daisy history for completing this utter and literal monster confirmed and allowed to be talked about full overhaul of all audio and visual triggers across the entire map including global and personal weather fog effects an island of dinos an island of lost souls including ghosts and demons arach arachnoid compounds evil oh, mannequin come on evil mannequins that spawn events such as burnt zombies <sighs> zombies with their arms and face sewn up doors that trigger background sounds in the areas and local events it's terrifying on testing so it's going to be full brown trousers uh once the event starts so that's what i'm going to be doing so for the next like... 48 hours i was so on board i was like legends of halloween cool. trailer okay we can play that before we go Carter will not be there. You're not the one that has to deal with the spiders. No, I'm the one that has to fucking watch you deal with the spiders. Worse. Sorry. Can you send me that trailer, hater? Have you ever put Daisy... <coughs> There we go. No, never mind. I found it. Okay. Um, we'll do audio output up. I'm just going to fucking do it as a window capture because I literally can't be. Uh... Salmon, cut roast beef, goose. Wow. Windows well, capture. Like, there how many other animals can you Alrighty. Legends of Halloween. Forty-eight hours, by the way, not forty hour, eight hours. What the fuck is that thing? Sorry. 
See, this would be awesome if, you know, the Arachnid thing could be kicked out. Carter would be totally on board for that. I'm going to die, I'm going to die, because I want them. to die of my own volition, as per usual in Daisy. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's uh, I'm going to be on with the Batolia family tomorrow night, and then it's going to be uh, David Knows Best's Halloween event from uh, Saturday to Monday. So let's fucking go indeed. Right, well, that's it from us. Uh, here's a little Daisy trailer to give you a bit of flavor of what you're going to be in for tomorrow night. And we'll catch you all um, Monday on Twitch, where we're going to be doing a movie group watch movies yet to be determined but we'll, we're going to watch a horror movie or two on Twitch and just hang out after I finish work and doing the bit of the Daisy event costumes presumably will be happening probably possibly I'll have my Halloween t-shirt I won't have your Halloween t-shirt yeah kids gets it there you go anyway we'll catch you after the trailer see you later guys <laughs> bye bye in the Two rolls of duct tape and a staple gone away from a human centipede, people, and we should be proud of that. What is wrong with we your body? A, oh we my should do god! A huge centipede, right now. What is wrong with you? A huge <laughs> centipede, right now. Everybody, Wait, do don't it move! Please don't move! Head. Get in the road. I don't know how to get on all fours. Everybody, centipede. Don't move! Don't move! Hold on. Don't move! What's Behind wrong with me? my neck? What's wrong? Oh, let me be last, please. Someone give me chili. Yeah, I'm going up the front because I don't want the. I don't want. I don't please. I'm behind I had you. I had last night. <laughs> oh, I'll crawl through that. That doesn't bother me at all. Um nom 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 nom. Oh yes. Um nom 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 nom. Yeah, let's get it in my tum tum. Nom 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 nom. Mmm, so good. It's tasty. This isn't the sun of you guys. This is the worm. Admin, give me chili right now. Please don't. I'm behind. I'm Hey, that's against the rules, Badman. You're worm running. That's twice against the rules, Badman. Don't forget, if you enjoy our madcap, gorecast, horror hijinks, we stream three nights a week over on YouTube, Mondays, Thursdays, and Sundays, where you can see a little bit of this. Third spoon, god damn, I knew there was something I wanted to bring up in the, god damn, I don't know what a fucking third spoon is, but I'm mad to get a pretty in-depth. Most definitely some of this. With a new 2009 twist. Uh, she pulls out of her vagina. Um, I'll give it to her though, cause like, you know how like magicians kind of like do something and they pause dramatically? She took that dramatic pause. And occasionally, some of this. Our favorite Halloween movies. What's up, Gorecasters? Welcome back here to the Gorecast. Yeah, okay, I'm here. I'm back.